Hey yo, welcome back to another one. We have a very long video to go here. This is my full New Game Plus guide. So um, I'll explain what you can expect in this, but to begin with guys, let's just get ready. So at the end of New Game, we are at End Game. So um, just make sure you've got the Aegis equipped and you don't really need to fully upgrade it. All you want is Guard Attack, but you can upgrade to Guard Parry and the Counter Charge if you want to. I don't use them. But if you want to, just go. All you really need with the Ages is Guard Attack. That's the most important upgrade we need for it. Another weapon you want is we're going to come and talk to Eugenie. And I'm just going to have to use some consumables to get enough. If you don't have enough, just go and farm somewhere. If you watch my new game my new game part of my Platinum, you know the good farming spots. Um, there's one in Chapter 8, Chapter 11. The... the Fire Shovel Puppet to start up chap a chapter 8 is a good one to reference. I guess it's easy to explain where it is. Start of chapter 8 in the Baron Swamp. There's a Fire Shovel near start. Nice, easy one to go to. Um, but yeah, we want the Live Puppet's Axe Blade and the Coil Mohinia Handle. So yeah, that's the weapon you want to make. Live Puppet's Axe Blade, Coil Mohinia Handle. The reason being, Live Puppet Axe has the most guard re reduction. And the coil mahonia blade, it's a long, it's sort of a long handle, so it'll give you more damage and more range. Um, but it also it has the absolute defense fable art, which means we can block fewer attacks with a much bigger window. It just means you're gonna have to use fable slots to do so. You're gonna use motivity crank on it, guys, to give it more scaling against motivity, and they're gonna fully upgrade it. Yeah, so fully upgrade this to plus 10. I've gave you the reasons I advise this one. You can use some else if you want, um, but I strongly advise this one. It's really going to help. Yeah, really going to help with our build and my strategies are going to be, be putting forward in New Game Plus. But I just like to have that one. You know, it's got the most guard reduction. It's a good sort of backup and absolute defense. I don't perfect guard anything. I just, I, I use abilities to do so. Like for example, Perfection Grindstone or that absolute defense Fable Art. Yeah, so your amulets, you'll pretty much just change up your amulets depending on what enemies you're facing. You almost always wear the carrier's amulet. Um, and the extreme modification amulet. And then the the one which depends on the damage you do to what type enemy, you'll change that. For example, you might have the amulet equipped which increases damage against carcasses or against humans or puppets. You'll change that up. And then the other one, I sometimes change that as well between the strength amulet which increases your motivity. I sometimes change that with the amulet which increases, well basically gives you immunity against all status debuffs. That's the piercing hatred amulet. You get that by crafting it with the nameless puppets um, um, boss ergo. So we're gonna be crafting the nameless puppets weapon in New Game Plus at the end. So yeah, all we're gonna do as well guys is buy 100 legion magazines from this guy here. I come to this dude because he's the cheapest by quite a lot. He sells the Legion magazines for 180, um, but the guy Polandina is a rip off. He sells them for 250. That's way more. So yeah, that guy sells them for 180. So he's going to buy all them, all Legion magazines. You want 99, 99 should be a lot. You will get back to him in New Game Plus, but I just like to buy more now, guys. Get more out of the way. And then we're back to hotel. Any other money you've got, you're just going to buy some Fable Catalysts. You know, just in case they come in handy. Welcome to and yeah, that should be good to go, guys. Yep, you might want to buy some special ampules, I guess. And some, yeah, you won't need the normal ones, but special ones you might need. And perhaps some abrasives, but what you you do really need the Legion magazines, so very important. Right, and with all that done, guys, we should be ready to head into New Game Plus. So yep, intro with Stargazer, go into the bottom option, restart. Yeah, it's going to let you know there what you're going to lose and what you're going to keep. Hold X in once you're ready to jump in. Once you jump in, guys, you cannot come back to New Game unless you made a backup save. So as soon as you hold X. That's it, you are stuck in New Game Plus. So make sure you've definitely done everything. Right, it begins. 
another four hours sprinting through the game. Find all them bosses again. New Game Plus, all the enemies seem to have like double HP. Um, well, no, it's, it's probably more like about 30% more HP. Um, but they do seem to do about double damage when they hit you. So just be very, very careful. It's weird. It's like your character... Oh yeah, and when, when you start in, guys, and you get asked if you want to reset the P organ, say yes, okay. You want to reset the P organ, so choose okay. That's it. You'll get all your quarters back. I got 27 there because I already had one which I hadn't used. So if you got all the quarts in new game, you'll have 28. If you have more, it's because a glitch happened. I think there is a glitch that can happen, like when you get a reward from a boss. I think if you die at the moment, you get rewards. You sort of get two of them. Some weird glitches like that, that off red. But yeah, you should have 28. That's all you can get in new game, in one playthrough. Yeah, pick up Mona's lamp, carry on forward, and the table where we took our weapons in new game, where you pick your builds. Now you can use it to um, activate your P organ abilities. And because we reset our P organ at the very start, we've got all our quartz back to use. Yep, so activate P organ at the bottom. Yep, so we're going to buy everything now. Pretty much just buy everything that I unlock. This is going to be very helpful for our builds. I've got a text guide for this as well, by the way. Yep, so um, if you watch what I'm doing, but I try to read you through it as well. If you want a text list of what I'm buying, you can, like I say, find it all in the description. So we're going with phase one, increase pull cells one. And we're going to buy survival type enhanced guide regain recovery one and item type legion magazine effect one then it's phase one add fable slots one survival type lower damage when discharged one item type increases ergo upon eliminating an enemy then it's back to phase one again link dodge survival type enhance poor cell recovery one item type increases consumable possession limit two yeah, then it'll be phase two, increase pool cells two. Yep, survival type, lower guard regain reduction one. Item type, increases thrown object possession limit one. Well, we've got a long way to go on this video, haven't we guys? What, seven minutes into four hours? Yep, that should open phase three. So next one will be phase two, add amulet slots one. We'll go with survival type, increase pool cells three. And item type, special grindstone effect duration 1. I'll explain why we're buying what we're buying shortly after, guys. So let's just get through what we're buying first. So I can't mention two things at once. Yep, next up, guys, is phase 3, enhance pull cell recovery 2. We've got survival type, lowest guard regain reduction 2. Um, ability type, charge legion when eliminating an enemy 1. And item type, Legion Magazine Effect Enhance 2. Yeah, if I pick one by mistake, you know, to what I'm actually reading to you, and it's different to what I'm doing on screen, don't worry, it will. Sometimes I might just click on the wrong one, but I do go back and get the right one afterwards. And normally, if I do pick something else, it's normally one we are going to be picking anyway at some point. Um, so next up is Phase 4, and Amulets 2. you got Survival Type. Lower damage when discharged too. You've got ability type. Reduces stamina consumption from dash. That almost halves your stamina consumption, by the way, when dashing. It's a really good ability, that one. Yeah, item type. Increases ergo up and eliminating an enemy too. Right, phase four next. Add fable slots too. Um, we've got survival type. Auto charge pulse when discharged. Ability type, charge legion when eliminating an enemy, 2. Item type, increases consumable possession limit, 2. Yep, phase 4, increases special grindstone use, next. It'll be survival type, increase poor cells, 4. Yep, slightly different build, guys, to what we're going in the first playthrough. Yeah, then it'll be Ability Type, Auto Charge Legion. Item Type, Increases Throwing Object Possession Limit 2.
I've tried not to. I've tried not to do it so fast, so you can actually see what I'm doing. I tried to highlight each one for at least a few seconds. Yeah, phase two next, rising dodge. Yeah, attack type, enhance fatal attack, attack one. Survival type, increase poor cells five. Yep, phase six next. Only four more to use for now. Yeah, enhance poor cell recovery three. So this is a new face in um, New Game Plus. New Game Plus Plus, you'll get a phase seven. So yeah, enhance poor cell recovery three. You want attack type, enhance fatal attack two. Yep, enhance fatal attack two. Then it'll be survival type, enhance guard regain recovery two. Yeah, it starts off slow, guys, but we do need to make sure we've got all the right, you know, P organ abilities equipped. Yeah, then it'll be ability type, lowers weapon durability consumption of slashing weapons. The reason I've gone with slashing weapon is because that live puppet's axe is classed as a slashing weapon. Yeah, then it's item type, increases ergo upon eliminating an enemy. Three guys. Right, finally, we've got all our P organs set up. Finally, we've just spent 28. That's pretty much what we're going for. So you know all them discharge abilities we went with. If you use all your pull cells, you'll take much less damage. And it's quite it's not quite a maximum effectiveness yet. But once you get all the other dis discharge abilities in New Game Plus, and with this weapon, the live puppet axe. When you have no pull cells and you're blocking, you'll actually get health back. You have to attack to regain it. But what I mean is, if you've only got 50% HP left and you've got no pull cells, but you block, you'll actually go up to, you'll get a bit more back. So you'll be at 50%, but your guard regain will increase your health, kind of. You have to attack, get guard regain back, but your guard regain will actually increase your health um, when you're using them discharged attacks. So, but that's more like a backup. I don't think I ever have to use it, um, but that's sort of, sort of like a backup. You know, if you do run out of pulse charge, you'll sort of be taking much less damage. You know, you'll be getting health back when you block in a way. So yeah, that's what a discharge part is for. But like I said, there's still a few abilities to buy in the discharged sort of um, ability setup before that re reaches maximum effectiveness. But it's, it's mainly a backup thing. So we're going to be running past almost everything, almost everything guys. We're going to sprint down here, you're going to unlock the shortcut gate, you can pick up the Fable Catalyst while, you know, while you're here. Right, so before we engage the um, sort of police officer, we're going to kill any puppets which are coming for you down the steps which followed you. Otherwise you're going to be fighting these and that big guy in the corner at the same time. So use your electrical grindstone. That's it, kill them. And all you're going to be doing, guys, on oh, these two came from through here. Yeah, all you're going to be doing now, go forward, hold out your shield, and just attack through it. That's all you're going to do. It's going to be mega easy. So just hold out your shield. That's it. And attack through it. So easy. Yeah, that's what happens if you try to attack normally. You might get hit. Just always keep your shield out. You've got to watch your legion though, because when you've got it out, your legion will slowly drain. That's where your legion magazines are going to come in useful. That's where you've got them in a in an extra slot. And you also need to always watch your stamina, guys, when you've got the ages out. It can eat through your stamina quite quick. So always watch your stamina. Do not let your stamina get too low, because if, if the enemy does a combo and you've got low stamina, it's going to eat through your combo and eventually start to damage you. So always watch your com your stamina. Maintaining this build requires you to always watch your legion and your stamina. And you need to be really good at managing them. What I sometimes do when I'm using the Aegis, if I've got opportunity to attack but I've got low stamina, I don't attack. I just drop my guards, let my stamina build a bit quicker. Your stamina will build when your shield is out but at a reduced rate. So yeah, what I'll do, I normally, if I've got low stamina but the enemy stopped attacking and there's a window to attack, I won't attack, I'll just drop my shield, let my stamina recover a bit faster, block the next attacks and then start attacking after those ones. So yeah, you need to become, 
you need to work very well guys on learning to manage your stamina and your legion do not let your legion if your legion gets too low wave an opportunity and the next thing you'll be doing is using a legion magazine to um, recover some legion yeah so like so not collecting anything we will be collecting some consumables along the way or just some good items we pass all the normal consumables now they're actually sort of increased so where there was a dim ergo fragment before now it might be a dim ergo chunk for example pretty much everything else is the same just the the um, consumables ergo consumables have changed they've just upgraded slightly all the drops and there's a few new chests scattered around with a plus one amulet not many but there is some i'm going to point all this out to you again all quartz guys all the new amulets and just doing the things for the endings along the way again all the records of course which you don't have we'll be doing new genie's trophy um and also getting her other record i think proposal flower or something yep and then um, we'll be doing the ending where you let sophia live yeah so the ending we're doing is one way you let sophia live i think it's free the puppet string or something right so with that dummy guys we're just going to use it to um fully charge our fable slots just do charge tax and that will build it up. We're going to talk to this merchant. We're just going to buy all three catalysts, all three throwing cells, all three abrasives and the golden record. Yep, golden record, proposed flower, wolf part one. You need all these golden records. I know there's a black record with the same name, but you need the golden ones. Yeah, don't worry about going down there. Nothing down there. Right, so first boss. So use your electric grindstone ready. You should be able to skip all cutscenes now if you want to. Now you've watched them all once, you can skip them. Just hold X and let's get past them. So electric grindstone. All we're going to be doing is blocking and attacking through the block, guys. Good thing about when you've got your Aegis shield out, when you attack, your, your very heavy weapons, which usually use loads of stamina, they use a lot less. But they still do crazy damage still. So the Aegis Shield really benefits from really heavy weapons, kind of, I think. Yeah, I mean, look how much damage it does. And we're just blocking his attacks and attacking through the block. Yeah, so just watch your Legion. You can see already my Legion is quite low. It's quite low, my Legion is, so I should probably use Legion Magazine at this point. But I'm not sure if I noticed. You know if I notice in a minute, so I'll take damage. Yep, so I've got no Legion left. Yep, didn't notice. <laughs> Yeah, this is what I mean. You've really got to be watching your Legion and your Stamina at the same time. Yeah, I'm holding it out, but I've got no Legion left. Oh, there we go. I used Legion Magazine. There we go, guys. Pretty easy, right? And, of course, it's not going to block Fury Attacks. You get Parade Leaders, Ergo, and a Quartz. It won't block Fury Attacks, so with a Fury Attack... That's what you've got all your fables for. So um, we've got Koyo Mohinya handle. So if you got if you see a fable attack coming, you can use your fable arch, your absolute defense, where you hold L1 and press triangle. You do need to know the timing a little bit of some of the fable attacks. Yeah, pick human here, guys. You have to pick human to progress. If you choose puppet, the door won't open, and you'll just have to talk to the door again and choose human. Yeah, some attacks. If you do the absolute defense fable art too early um, it will wear off before the fable attack lands so just be careful there's times when I, I spam I use it and um, it wears off and the fable attack still hasn't been still hasn't hit me yet so I use it again but yeah you still need to learn the timing for your attacks a little but if you don't know the timing like I say you can sort of use it once and then just use it straight again straight after if you need to but always keep your fable slots guys for using absolute defense to block fury attacks right so we are in the hotel finally we're back here back at the start of the game again intro is done for the second time right Sophia will engage with dialogue straight away you're gonna come and talk to Eugenie you have to talk to Eugenie here to progress guys yeah you're getting the puppet string again but you have to if you try to run out the door the game will just teleport you to Eugenie and you'll get that puppet string again. But when you get it, it will automatically equip. So you have come over to Stargazer. 
and manually equip the um, Aegis shield again, guys. Right, and they're going to come upstairs, go out into the courtyard, and take the far door. Yeah, we just printed through everything. I tried to give you some pointers along the way, you know, of some places where you might get into trouble. So we're heading into the um, second area, guys. Elysian Boulevard. You got the um, Inspector Gadget type enemy at the end of this one. The Puppet, which is immune to electric. So yeah, rest of the Stargazer. I pretty much rest at all the Stargazers again. I think this one which I don't because I'm being chased by um, one of them Fire Shovel Puppets and I can't be bothered to kill it. So I just leave Stargazer. It's not too far from another one. Yeah, so you want to use the Acid Grindstone. Because this boss coming up is immune to electric, we're not going to be using the electric one on him. We can still use the Puppet Amulet, but yeah, I'm going to use the Acid Grindstone on him. I'm not entirely sure what works best on, you know, on the, um... You've got your humans and your carcasses and your puppets. You know, one is weak to electric, one weak to fire and one to acid. But I'm not quite sure the... If you can't use one of them, what the best of the other two elements are to use on him. You know, that's one thing. I think with carcasses, you'd think perhaps... I mean, they're weak to fire, but you think they're going to be most immune to acid, wouldn't you? Because a lot of them mostly inflict decay. But it's hard with humans. I mean, I don't know. I don't really know, you know, but like carcasses, it seems pretty self-explanatory. They're weak to fire and they're probably going to be resistant to acid. Yeah, but with the, with in regards to puppets and the, the humans, I don't quite know. Outside of, you know, what they're just weak to. With humans being acid and um, puppets being electric. Yeah, so just making our way to the next Stargazer. Come near, you always want to kill this guy. So he's going to block your path. And give the other enemies behind you to um, hoard up. Careful across his rooftops. I fell down there a few times, even when I know <laughs> what's going to happen. I just ran out being cocky and ran straight off the ledge. Try not to do that. Yeah, so if you can't interact that Stargazer, just move away outside the other doorway. The enemies should turn around and walk back. And once they walk back far enough, you should be able to interact with it, guys. Yeah, because we want to talk to this guy. Yeah, we want to buy the golden record from it. Do we? Is that a golden record? Well, we're going to buy throwing cells anyway. Four and three. Yeah, we're going to buy that golden record, quitch or tick. So, yeah, if you don't quite have enough, you're just going to have to use some of your consumables or go and farm that big enemy nearby. You probably noticed already the enemies on New Game Plus drop like almost, probably over, like three times as much as a year ago they drop on New Game. They drop much more ago. And when it comes to leveling, by the way, I normally, I try to get 30 in everything, except for technique. Technique, I sort of leave as it is. Uh, but, yeah, but yeah, I try to get 30 in everything. The most important ones being vitality and capacity. Yep, yeah, and then everything else, yeah, pretty much the 30. And then after that, like I say, just put a bit more into vitality and capacity. And perhaps a bit into motivity as well. To increase, you know, your damage with your weapon. So across the rooftops, we don't have to kill this guy anymore. All we wanted from him before was the weapon, but we have it already. So just run past him. Yep, that shortcut, that door on the left leads to the shortcut elevator, but no need to go in there. We will be coming back through this way later, and when we do, we'll just do the shortcut then. So yeah, open the gate, guys. Block for a moment so you don't get hit from behind while the gate is opening. Carry on forwards. And you want acid for this enemy anyway, because you've got a human coming up. I actually forgot about this guy. Um, when we at the first save point. Yeah, you're going to beat the mad donkey. 
This guy goes down so quick when you just block him with the Aegis. Just remember to watch your Legion and um, your stamina. So yep, just block and attack through your block. It's a piece of cake like this. So yeah, in new, in new game, we're running behind him and doing backstabs. Yeah, you still do, you do so quite a bit of damage with this. You wouldn't be able to do this build with um, with that weapon we're using in New Game 1 because the range is so tiny. You need a big range for this. You know, when you're using the shields, you need a big range, uh, a weapon with a big range on it. There seem to be two types of attacks as well when you're behind the shield. You have slash weapons, which you'll always just do the same slash and attack, no combo. Just always the same attack no matter what weapon you have. Um, but if you've got a stabbing weapon, you'll do like a pierce attack. And got him, guys. Mega easy. Did I take any damage? It's a dream. I am I, but in order oh. you. So, yep, you'll get all them, all them goodies from Geppetto. Crash City Hall key. Um, the engine. What's it? Engine modification tool. Yeah, so, um. Did I change my amulet for that boss? Yeah, because he's a human. So obviously one of the the amulet which increases damage against humans, and I think he did. I don't I don't quite know. Did he do slash damage? I mean, when he slammed his when he slams his, uh, his weapon down, would that be class of strike damage? I'm not quite sure. But yeah, come through that gate afterwards, guys. Repair the star gazer, and we we'll make our way to the boss, the big boss, not the mad donkey. So e or yeah. The um, Spectre Gadget type. The. Is it Parade Master? No, that's the enemy beforehand. I forget the name of this boss. Yeah, so just run straight past all the enemies. I'm avoiding. You probably notice I'm avoiding most little side quests. I do a few side quests, but only the ones which lead you to a quartz. If there's no quartz, then no go. We don't do it. Right, so we're going to be using Spectres. Yeah, I've just turned my guide off. Just noticed I'm still getting tutorials. As if I'm playing the game for the first time. This is not my first rodeo. Alright, I think I know how to use the Spectre. Right, push the door open, guys. I'm going to skip the cutscene. And the um, Inspector Gadget theme tune. Da -da -da -da. Inspector Gadget. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> you remember that series? Way back. Oh, Scrapped Watchman, that's his name. Right, so yeah, I'm just going to block. Be very careful. Remember, when he's going to do a Fury attack, this guy's Fury attacks are quite delayed. You see that quite delay on it? When you're close by, anyway. Yes, yeah, so I'm just blocking and attacking. Just doing them two things simultaneously, yeah, I can multitask. I can hold a shield out and attack him at the same time. That's it, let your spectre take all the damage. Take one for the team. Oh, here we go, if you attack, be ready to use the absolute defense. Yep, if you stagger him, if you see the window, lob a shot put guys to instantly stagger him. Because we've got a fatal attack perks now, you can do your fatal attacks when you get the opportunity. I'm always going to try and do them now, and because stamina is a very important part of our build now. I mean, it always is, but it's even more of importance when you're using these shields and attack sort of builds. Yeah, doing a fatal attack, it also gives your stamina a chance to re uh, regain while the boss is unable to attack you. So fatal, fatal attacks do come in quite useful for this build. Not just for the damage, but also give you a stamina chance to recharge without danger of the boss slapping you around in the process while you were doing so. Right guys, so we're going to walk back to Hotel Crap after beating him. Yep, after beating him you have to walk back to Hotel. And throughout this new game plus, I'm not going to be warping back to Hotel a lot, not like we did in a new game. In new game we're almost warping back to Hotel after every single boss, weren't we? But now I just do it occasionally. Either when there's some sort of item we need it. I try to make it so anything we need to do in the hotel we do it when we have to come back to get a story item. There's some times when I just come back anyway because you need to 
talk to your genie for example to advance a quest line and if you don't talk to her at that point um it will a quest line will sort of get cancelled and you'll mess it up so yeah but i'll walk you through it all yeah harvest gold coin tree and get some fruity yeah everything we're doing here is the sort of minimum it's a minimum of what you have to do guys to get all these trophies so yeah until you get ge and geo you can interrupt that little tablet and you can purchase your wish stones there i just seen how many i have I've got enough for now. Right, I'm gonna go into Geppetto's room. I'm gonna to talk to Geppetto. He'll give you a key for the um, Vanini works. And um, he'll give you a seat. Right, we've got two quarts. What shall we buy? We're gonna buy phase two, retain, guard, regain. Regain, guard, retain. Yeah, we're gonna buy that guys. Yep, and we are going by. Just trying to chase it up. Where is it on my... Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, survival type, increase, pull cell 6. And item type, Legion Magazine, effect, enhance. So now your Legion Magazines are going to heal more Legion. Absolutely fabulous, that is. Now we're going to get more Legion back when we use Legion Magazine. Meaning, we can block for longer. Right, I'm just going to level up as well while we are here. Yeah, we're going to try and level up to Vitality 28. At our current level, it will cost you 29,226. Or was it 66? No, 26 I think. Right, we're going to warp guys to um, Karat City Hall Courtyards. So let's do it. Right, so that's two areas out of the way and nine to go. What are we 32 minutes in, yikes. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna just do intro commentary and not talk again for the rest of the video. But I thought I might tag along, you know, give you some company guys while you go through this. Right, so now you've got a key, you can come through here. I'm not gonna be picking up any files. There is some chatter around the internet that, um, oh yeah, that's it. To do Vanini's quest line, I mean, I'm not going to be doing it here anyway. We've already got a trophy, but I'm pretty much going to be almost completing it anyway, because it leads you to a quartz, kind of, and you have to talk to him along the way anyway. Yeah, some chat around the net on various guides that you need to get a certain file to do Vanini's quest. You don't, you don't need to do it. I do not collect the file here and I can still complete this quest line. Right, come to his telephone guys. And critical choice is imminent. You want to pick human. Yeah, pick human here. Very, very important. Yep, human, you'll get a trinity key and your springs will start to react. Yeah, I still get most trinity keys, guys, just because they lead you to a trinity sanctum. And there's keys, uh, sorry, not keys, the quartz inside them. Right, so I've equipped the um, piercing hatred amulet uh, because it's going to make me immune to overheat. And the enemies in this next area love to inflict overheat on you guys. So it's not going to get inflicted on me no more. And we're going to come these steps after doing the telephone. And head into Vanini Works and rest the first Stargazer. Let me turn the volume down on my monitor so I think it's a little bit loud. You might be able to hear it in the background. Yeah, so rest there. And if you haven't already, make sure you've got the electric grindstone ready. Because we're going to be fighting a lot of puppets. We're even going to be fighting a puppet from the future soon as well. Right, so yeah, electric grindstone. Make sure you've got the amulet, which increases attack against puppets as well. 
and we should be good to go guys. So all these steps nearby, head left around here onto the sort of catwalk. Watch out for this guy at the back, he's going to lob a bomb at you and also the floor in front of him is going to collapse so make sure you stick to the side like so. Come behind him, it's not end of the day if you fall down, you'll just fall down and um, you'll look a bit silly. That's pretty much all it is. All the enemies will see you falling down. And have a little smirk amongst themselves. Yeah, so you're going to come over here. The floor is going to break. When you drop down here, block until he attacks you. Trust me, if you try to get past this guy, just run straight past him. He's going to hit you. So block first, wait for him to stop attacking, and then run past. I've learned the hard way, so you don't have to. Right up here. I just kill that butterfly because it's in my bloody way, and I don't like butterflies. No, I don't mind him. But yeah, that butterfly was in the way. Quicker to kill him than wait for him to flutter away and despawn. Right, drop down here and loot this loot the Stargazer. Repair it. Now, you see this red pipe behind it? We didn't go through here earlier because, as I mentioned back on New Game, there's not really any good items through here. But on New Game Plus, there's a chest through here which gives you your first sort of New Game Plus amulet. This one will be Oh yeah, the indomitable, in, uh, <laughs> indomitable amulets. Plus one. I can't quite... I always forget what that one does as well. So there it is, that chest. That is exclusive, guys, to New Game Plus. Going to quickly loot it. So yeah, you want to make sure you've got a pocket watch quick slotted. Like I have. And I'm going to quickly run behind here. Use the pocket watch and walk back to recent Stargazer. You walk behind there. Because if not, even though no enemies are close, they'll spit then projectiles at you and will interrupt your warp in. So run behind that pillar and then quickly warp back to here. So yeah, the indomitable amulet. What does it do again? I forget. I think I do check. I'm reading it now because I want to be reminded. Oh yeah, increases resistance of disruption, shock and break. They're the only three which your amulet will not protect you against. So every other every other um, element guys to debuff you're immune to. Then three you are not. Right over here guys grab the um, resplendent ergo chunk. Run up here remember you got the rolling ball coming down. Do not try and kick it. It hurts. Just carry on. Yep keep on going. Keep going, keep going. The guy's going to burst through that wall. Don't go too close, otherwise you might take some of the damage. Run past him, come through here. Past these two, you don't need to talk to them. I assure you, you do not need to talk to them. And you still won't have to fight them at the end. All you have to do is give them gold coin fruits at certain points. Right, run past these guys. And into the this passageway. Yep, unlock this trinity door with your trinity key. Enter the trinity room and loot the trinity safe. Inside, you'll find a trinity quartz and a trinity blue blood tail cult. And then you're going to leave the tr trinity room, guys. Once you're back out here, head back past some two NPCs. We are going to be fighting the guy down below, by the way, the puppet from the future. But I'm not going to be deactivating the swamp. Because I'm immune to corruption anyway. But if you haven't got that amulet, for whatever reason, you'll need to go and um, pull that lever, guys, to drain the corruption pool. Is it corruption or is it DK? It's one of them. Right, pull this lever. It's going to lower the red pipe, make a little shortcut. But first of all, yep, yeah, after lowering that, we're going to go and talk to Vanini. And we're going to rest at Stargazer. And Vanini will give you a gesture of fear. But you need to talk to him anyway, so he walks, so he goes back to the hub area after doing this boss. Just did a massive yawn. Yeah, so through here. You know, I'm really wanting to get into Lords of the Fallen, but I can't because they got so many patches to release yet. And I feel like it's just going to be such a waste of time doing it at the moment. So yeah, talk to Vanini guys, rest at Stargazer. And then drop back down here, across red pipe, climb down a ladder, and kill the big puppet. 
Yeah, this to kill me once, you'll see a little edit down here. I did die to him, somehow. There we go. There are my souls. Who's them souls? I take them. They're not mine, but I take them anyway. Yeah, puppet from the future. So I'm sure you know how to fight these guys by now. Very easy. Very easy to fight. Yeah, I wanted to cover Lords of the Fallen at release. I really wanted to. I was thinking... Just before it, I was thinking, yeah, I'm going to get this done, get a guide out pretty quick. But there's no chance I would have been able to. Because it's just so... There's quite a lot of things going on in that game. And they're still changing a lot. I mean, they have said... They've said in one of their recent patches that um, they've been listening to feedback from content creators and the community. And um, they've taken the most constructive criticism or something. And they're going to try to implement changes in the coming days. So they've said. Yeah, and I quote. That's very similar to what they've said. Um, I might have forgot a word or two. But yeah, so I think a lot of things are going to change. So yeah, I think... Even though I do want to get stuck into Lords of Fallen, it is going to be just much more time productive, you know, produc production wise, to just leave it until later. Yeah, once you kill him, guys, you get quartz and a crystal. And just walk back to recent Stargazer. Yeah, I mean, we've got Metal Gear Solid coming up soon, haven't we? Which going to, I think that's going to take quite a bit of time. So you've got sort of three big games in that one, and obviously the two, the two NES games. So. They're going to take a while. Obviously, Alan Wake 2. Which, apparently, they're going to release loads... They reckon they're going to um, drop loads of free DLC on that. Yes, yeah, so level up your vitality, guys. 230. If you don't have enough, just use some consumables. You need 21,823. Yeah, level that, level that up to 30, guys. And I think next will be... Is it capacity I do next? Yeah, I think I'll go into Capacity next, and then Vigor, and then down to Advance, and then back Capacity again, then a bit of Vitality. Yep, so Vitality up to 30, guys. I think Capacity's already at 35. Um, sorry, 30. Yeah, Alan Wake 2, apparently um, I did see uh, sort of um, a news article about it. They're going to be, I know there is DLC which you can buy a season pass for or something. In like the deluxe, the deluxe edition. But they're also dropping loads of free DLC apparently. So that'd be nice. So I think there's going to be a lot of DLC trophies popping up on Alan Wake 2. Right, so yeah, we're going to beat up the boss now guys. So um, yeah, some of the Spectre is a puppet. So make sure you've got all your amulets equipped which increase defense against puppets. It does fire damage. So if you can equip any um, any defense parts, yes, you will not be able to be debuffed with overheat with that amulet, the piercing hatred. But fire damage will still hurt you. Uh, you know, sort of do fire damage. You just can't be inflicted by it. So yeah, any defense items which increase defense against fire damage, of course. And I think this guy does strike damage when he hits you. I think it's strike. Yeah, it's got to be strike damage, surely. Yeah, so just same as before, guys. Just hold out your shield. Use the electric grindstone. And just keep attacking him. Just be careful when he's when he's near half HP. He'll stand still and he'll sort of drop his load on the floor. And it'll burn you if you're too close. And it can kill you very, very quickly. So yeah, when he's near half HP. Fury attack. Remember to use your absolute defense. Here we go. So he's just going to drop his load now. Yes, yeah, so when that happens, you can get a few hits in, but get ready to get away, guys. Yeah, I just healed my my um, buddy there, the Spectre. I don't see, in this fight, he dies so bloody quick to fight. He's got, like, literally zero fire defense. Yeah, he's dead already, and I healed him up. Whatever. I'll just finish your boss off. Yeah, you always want to try and stay close to you. If you get too far away, he might lob projectiles at you. So just be careful. But with this build, you need to get close anyway to attack. You can use some throwables, I guess. Obviously, don't use thermite. It's not going to do anything. Or hardly. But I normally don't... I save most of my throwables, guys, until later. If you keep using throwables, you're going to have to keep buying them. Then that means there's money to level up with. But yeah, I just wait until later. I kill most of the bosses just like this. They fall down. They fall down easy enough. So yeah, I've got him. 
Another one bites the dust. He'll drop all them goodies. Next time, gotcha. Next time. Right, so after beating him, we're gonna level. Level. What have I got? It's my capacity. Oh, it's on 20, of course. Sorry. I, th I was reading it wrong. I thought it's my capacity on 30, but that's my motivity. Yeah, so level up capacity to 23 next, guys. That should cost you um, 36,646. If you can't quite push it to 30, um, 23, then just use one or two consumables. Just push it over that edge, and then you can level up to 23. So once you've done so, carry on. Slide down this ladder. We're making our way next into the Moonlight Town. Where your dreams come true. The Moonlight Town. Yeah, watch out for the barrels here. Try not to roll into any. I'm going to show you in a second what will happen if you do roll into one by mistake. So yeah, that's what happened, guys if you go too close to the barrel. So try not to do it. Right, we're straight past here. Be quick, otherwise that guy with the rake is going to run out to you and ram into you from behind with a rake. Trust me, you do not want to feel that. Right, drop down here next. Carry on straight forward. Now this Stargazer, I think it's the only one I don't repair. You'll see why. Yeah, so sprint past this guy. The guy with the burning shovel. Quickly rest at Stargazer. But if you're not quick enough like that, just leave it. There's another one not too far away. Yes, if you die between here and the next one, you'll have to re respawn all the way back at the last boss fight, I know. But it's not too far. So you're going to come over here. And there's a new game plus chest here, guys. So you're going to come in here and then kill all the enemies which follow you in. Do not try to loot the chest before killing the enemies because you'll just get slaughtered. I know from experience. Yeah, this chest is the transformation amulet. Plus one. Yeah, it's a transformation amulet plus one. That is new game plus exclusive. Yeah, I was gonna see if he's gone, so I can rest at Stargazer, but no, he's still waiting for me. So I'm gonna come along here, jump across that hole in the middle. Yeah, jump across the middle of the bridge, guys, otherwise it's gonna collapse. And you're gonna have a pretty nasty fall. And you have to make your way back up to the top. Yeah, so come straight up here. Just follow the path on the right. And you'll find this you NPC. The Atoned. The cathedral isn't the sanctuary it once was. I still don't know what happened. Are you... And the option you want to choose, guys, is give the stalker's greeting. Very important. Don't do nothing. Do not do nothing. You want to pick the option, give the stalker's greeting. Yep, you'll get... I was going to say you'll get a trophy. You'll get that message. Your springs are reacting. Come inside, guys, and start the cable car. I'm going to have a long ride up to the top now. Very, very long ride. Yep, so take a seat, put your belt on, and um, I guess get comfortable. Right, so yeah, we're going into Cathedral next. That's one with the first sort of tricky boss, remember? The guy with two stages, the first boss with two stages. Fascinating town, Moonlight, just fascinating. Back in the day, the only way to reach the cathedral okay. was using a rope and pulley. So, thanks for building it on a cliff, St. Frangelica. Yeah, one second, guys. I'm just replying to a few comments. Um, wonderful, Saint. Wonderful. Anyway, are you going to do a Lord of the Fallen 2023 plat? I've actually just said in my community post. Don't miss a magnificent view of a beautiful crotch. It's been my pleasure, friends, and enjoy the rest of your journey. I've been your captain on this ride, Gemini. Well, yeah, somebody asked me a question, um, which I've just said in my community post. I just sort of, you know, I direct you guys to community post, you know, because um, you're probably going to get a better answer there anyway, even if I do try to reply, you know, directly. If you just check there, you'll get more information likely. Yeah, so up here, we're going to grab a Ergo item. Yeah, Dim Ergo Chunk, just in that corner, tucked in that corner beside the Stargazer. And because it's going to be carcass enemies next, you can put a flame grindstone on. 
Yeah, put on the flame grindstone, guys. My subs are actually doing really well at the moment, actually. Generally, my, my um, sub count per month is normally below a 1,000, and it varies between there, you know. But I've rarely got above 1,000. But this month, it's like shot up over a 1,000 for some reason. Yeah, I think with um, Resident Evil 4 DLC Separate Waste, my Clisso Protocol Guide, because obviously it come on PS Plus, so it's getting more attention. And um, my Lysa P Guide hasn't been doing that, it's not been doing that well, considering it's a new playthrough and it's a new game. Because normally on smaller channels, we get, pretty much get buried from all the bigger channels, you know, it makes it harder to find us. But yeah, I'm on like over a thousand subs at the month, um, per month at the moment. But a few weeks ago, it had dropped down to like 750 or something, so it varies quite a lot. Yep, so um, along here, guys. Where was I? Sorry, yeah. What? I did actually get an item before he dropped off that bridge. What's their problem? Wait. Uh, it's just like a, a fragment. We're well, not a fragment, it's actually. It's a vivid ergo chunk. I picked it up just before he jumped off the bridge. And once you come here, we want to go and talk to Giangio at the back. If you don't come and talk to him, he'll just stay here until you come and talk to him. So you want to talk to him, um, advance his dialogue. And then later on, he'll say he will move to Cathedral. And then once he moves to Cathedral, you know that later he will move to um, the hub area. So yeah, come and talk to him. You'll get the um, book from him, the ballad. Talk to him again, you'll get a cube and a wish stone again. It's not another cube. You just get the, I guess, fake item. and But you'll get a recovery wish stone, which is like an extra one. But yeah, talk to him, guys. He'll say he's going to walk back to... He'll go to Cathedral. Uh, once you run away from him. Then we're going to come over here. Open this big door. All the enemies will be fighting on a bridge. We're just going to sprint past them. And enter the door at the end. Into the cathedral. And repair the stargazer. And till dawn platinum. I don't think so. I'm not too fond of them story, you know, them story games. I mean, I wanted to, I wanted to cover the quarry, but it's just so many cutscenes you can't skip them, and you have to sit through all of them multiple times. And I'm just not really prepared to do that, if I'm honest. Sit through a game which is just basically cutscenes for hours, and then hours again, and then hours again, just to like test one little variable. And then as soon as you test it, you have to reset and watch cutscene over again to test another variable. Yeah. I don't really fancy doing it when I can't skip cutscenes. And the game is just cutscenes anyway. Yeah, so rest at Stargazer. And let's make our way forward, guys. Yeah, but there'll be a chunk down here once you get into the tunnel. Yeah, just on the left here, that's a dim ergo chunk, and then climb down the ladder. Yeah, run straight through this DK pool, and climb the ladder to the top. I think I fall down here actually. Yes, you might want to kill his first enemy just because it's a bit of a nuisance. It always sprints at you and gets in your way. And sprint up here, climb a ladder. Carefully manoeuvre across his beams. Very, very carefully. Do not block this guy with his shield. Use your weapon. If you use your shield, it's going to knock you flying back. And probably knock you off. So yeah, block the projectiles with your weapon. Kill this guy. Yep, I should not have blocked him with my shield then. I was so lucky to not get knocked off. I should have used my weapon. Right, carefully along here. Run past that guy. 
past here and down the ladder. You got the rolling ballroom here. Now you have to be very quick to avoid this. If you, if you're at normal weight and you pretty much sp start sprinting as soon as you can, you can just make it to the top without taking any damage. Any slower though, and you're going to take damage. Right, let this guy bash through the door, and just wait a second for him to step back. If you go to him too fast, he might not step back as far, and you might have to hit him to knock him back. Yeah, so just wait a second for him to step back, and then run past him. In here, obviously jump across the spinning wheels. Wait for the big gap. And then push down the fire to burn the decay pool at the bottom. And reveal a hidden staircase. I was expecting the Zelda music then. You know, when you unlock some it. I don't know why. I don't know why I was expecting that. Right, come over here and uh, pull the lever. Right, that's activate the shortcut. Once you've activated the shortcut lift, we're going to carefully drop down. Yeah, carefully drop down here. All the way to the bottom. That's it. Once you're at the bottom, go on the staircase below where the pit was. And um, open the door, guys. Go inside and loot the chest for the supply box. Is it a supply box or is it a vessel? I forget now. We'll see in a second. Oh, it's a cryptic vessel. Yeah, I get that one because it leads to a quartz. Yeah, the crafted cryptic vessel leads to a quartz. I think that's one which leads to a quartz back um, in Elysian Boulevard. Right, we've well, got it, guys. Back here and go up on the um, shortcut lift. So we're going to fight that big armor dude in a second. The carcass armor. So you're going to go through the gate. You're going to use your flame grindstone. Then you're going to sprint up to him. Pull out your shield, guys, and just keep attacking from behind the shield. Obviously, watch out for your stamina bar. But he should go down quick enough, this guy. He, yeah, he's very big. But he goes down quick enough. Yeah, so he's just going to spawn in here. So run straight to the end. That's where he spawns from. There you go. Pull out your shield and then just keep spamming attack. If you need to recover your stamina, just be careful. You know that attack where the um, the guard, it does that sort of counter where it explodes. I wish you could turn that off. That gets really annoying sometimes. Yeah, he'll drop a quartz, guys, and then come in here and loot this chest for the crap supply box. Quite important, it will lead to a quartz later. It doesn't happen all the time because if you look on the bottom left, you probably noticed, but you see that sort of like yellow sun icon on the bottom left. When you use that guard counter where you just block it and it does like a little explosion, that will reset and start, and there'll be like a cooldown and it'll start filling up again that sun icon with colour. And that indicates when you can use it again, if you didn't know. Um, but yeah, I wish you could turn it off. Because, yes, you have the counter it does, but the worst thing is, it uses a lot of legion. So it makes you use legion much faster. Yeah, rest at Stargazer and the Fallen Elite. We're not going to talk to the MC in the library because there is no need. It leads you to a record, which we already have. So it's going to sprint through here. Watch out for the trap, guys. Yeah, but I actually remembered not to step on it for once. Yeah, up here, I did do an edit here because I got knocked down. And um, I just wanted to cut off the time of me wasting. You know, me wasting my time on your time. By winning back around again. Yeah, up here. Block that guy with your weapon, not a shield. I think I blocked him with a shield. That's why I got knocked off. Yeah, when you come in here, in a minute, you should be careful. There's that big guy, which will sort of attack you straight away. Like a bigger version of these. So you want to be sort of blocking ready. But yeah, come in this tarpaul, pick up the dim ergo chunk. Through here, this way is going to appear. Be careful, be ready to block. There you go, block. Block his first three attacks and then run past and go into the lift behind him. Like I say, if you don't block him, he's likely going to hit you guys. Unless you're just good at dodging. Right, use this elevator. 
is going to take you up to Alidore. You have to do this quest line because um, he leads. He's part of Eugenie's quest, basically. I'm going to have no voice left after this. Bloody hell. <laughs> well, I've only got to do Outlast 2 after this. And then I think I'm going to have a break before Metal Gear. Not a break. I mean, I'll still be putting... I've got to put Blasphemous 2 all up in one video. Um, same with Devil May Cry 5. And this one, nice P. Yeah, so critical choice imminent here, guys. Talk to Alidoro and pick Hotel Krat. Yeah, talk to Alidoro and pick Hotel Krat. That is the truth option. You'll get a fire abrasive. Yeah, you also want to craft now seven coil spring swords. Um, the etiquette. And also the holy sword of the Ark. Craft all the three weapons. You should have enough. Yeah, craft all them three. Yeah, I tell him Hotel Krat. Yes, it is the um, sort of truth or no humanity option. But the reason being is because if you don't, if you choose the other option, you're going to have to warp to Hotel, um, to Vanini Works and talk to him there to send him to Hotel. And um, I, I can't be bothered. I want him to be straight at Hotel so I don't have to bother warping around to find him. So yeah, just send him straight to Hotel, guys. It's not going to impact everything. I know you've got a little bit less humanity now, but we'll still get more than enough humanity by the end. Yeah, when you come up here, watch out for that enemy. He'll always try to ambush you as you go past. He normally just punches in a straight line. Um, just make sure you do stop, otherwise that punch might hit you. Yeah, push down this to remove the DK port at the bottom. Right, drop down. Pick up this Radiant Ergo Chunk. And then open up the shortcut, guys. And get ready for a boss fight. We have just passed the one hour mark. Yes, this boss fight, it's the, um, what do you call her? The Archbishop. Is it the Archbishop? Yeah, I think it is. Right, time to get a move on. I think I'm just checking my build. Yep, so it's a carcass. It's weak to fire. So I um, need to make sure you go flame grindstone. And the amulet, which protects you against fire. No, protects you against a carcass. Right, so first stage, we're just going to block and attack. Second second stage is going to do exactly the same. Um, I don't use throwables. I guess you could do if you want. We will be heading into the Malum district soon. So you're going to get a shop open, which gives you a uh, supply of infinite throwables. So yeah, that will still be there. Yeah, but you shouldn't really need to. Just make sure you're ready with your um, cube in case you need to heal up your ally. If the health gets low. So yeah, just use the um, fire element guys. Buff your weapon. Hold your shield out and just keep attacking. Just watch your stamina. Watch your stamina and your legion. As always. Right, so for second stage, I like to run behind him. And I like to fight the fat part. I don't like to fight the serpent on the front. I like to fight the fat part. He's just easy to block. And he doesn't move around as much. I mean, this guy is difficult to hit with a weapon like ours. So yeah, come around to the boss on the front. And I'm just going to attack him. Use your remaining flame grindstone. And um, eventually he might start to do a charge attack with like a like a blue. There'd be like blue particles appear around him. Around around the front of the boss and the serpent on the back. If that happens, you need to get way out of the way. And make sure you've got full health HP as well in case an attack does hit you. It does a lot of damage. Quite a lot of damage. You will see it. Well, I hope so. Here we go. Yeah, when he starts doing this, he'll follow you a little bit and then he'll stop. You need to get sort of at the side of him, but a good distance away. So yeah, you're going to be at the side, but a good distance away. If you're at the side, but standing too close, they will still hit you. So make sure you're sort of at the side of him and then you just keep running away in that direction and you avoid his attacks. Then afterwards, just run around the back, guys, and keep on attacking again. 
and he should eventually fall asleep and you'll be crowned the victor. Right, eliminated. Yeah, intro out of Stargazer. I want to go back to the old crowd. And we're going to level up. Yep, to capacity 26, that costs 41,939. Right, so we've leveled up. And we're actually going to warp to the hotel now. The reason being is I think originally I didn't warp back to him so early um, to the hotel. But I found, you know, when it comes to a new phone, so, um, the, f the last phone we got was in Vanini Works, and the next one is in Malam District. But sometimes you have to talk to with Vanini, otherwise the f next phone call will not ring. So you get to the phone, and there'll be just no answer. There'll just be there'll be nobody on the upper end, on the other end. But talking to Vanini will make it so somebody will be calling you guys. So yeah, come talk to Vanini, exhaust his dialogue. You'll give him a few goodies. You'll get a few goodies back. And you also want to hand over the crafted cryptic vessel and then get him to decipher it. Read the message afterwards. Yep, this is that one with the body hanging above the bridge. Yeah, come in here next to refill all your fable. Yeah, then go upstairs to the gold coin tree and we're going to harvest some gold coin fruits. Yep, so harvest whatever you can at this point. Integer Patish Room, and we should have three quarts to play with. Yeah, so three quarts. We're going to go over to Retain Guard, Retain Guard, Regain 2 in Phase 5. We're going to buy attack type, lower, dur lower weapon durability consumption 1. We're going to go into survival type, lowers fury attack damage. Yep, and also item type increases consumable possession limit 3. Yep, and then once you've done so guys, we're going to warp to Krat City Hall. Just an optional objective, guys. Just get another quartz, I guess. Yep, Krat City Hall. You need to have a sawtoothed wheel, so I guess if you haven't got one, um, you have to buy one from um, Polandina, but you should, you should have one. Yeah, you're gonna knock down that corpse, guys. By um, well, not knock it down, but you're gonna lob a sword to foil at it. It'll drop that letter. You'll read it, and you actually need that letter to a access this apartment. Apparently, you use that to unlock it. Yep, yeah, come in the shortcut elevator. It will take you up here. Just head outside the door on the left. Come across a little gap. Don't fall down. Knock on the door. If nobody's at home, just use your letter to open it. Come inside, guys, and loot the quartz. Yep, yeah, loot the quartz and the owl doctor's hunting apparel. 
we've already got it but yeah let's have two why not when one's in the wash you can wear the other I guess right and then back to the stargazer now you're going to walk to the archbishop's altar yeah I'm um, I'm back guys I'm not back I mean the video has continued playing but this is where I had to um record it in two parts so up until this point I recorded that audio yesterday and going forward from now yeah this is me back from the next day so yeah where are we archbishop's altar oh yeah so we just beat him um, and we've been back to um, just do our usual stuff in the hub well we what chapter is this chapter um chapter five ain't it oh yeah we did a, a side quest or two yeah over here guys is a dim ergo chunk I always pick that one up and when we come down here we're gonna grab this smart uh, smiling bunny mark you don't have to but if you've got this in your possession then when you beat uh, when you meet the black market trader you don't have to give him any consumables so yeah pick up a smiling bunny mark you don't have to get um, Pulsinella to uh, appraise it either. You can just leave it. That's a smiling bunny mark. But yeah, you grab that. If you don't grab it, he asks you for like a ergo consumable. And you can pick what type to give him. Like a fragment or a chunk, for example. Um, but yeah, if you just got if you just got that on you, then he won't ask you. It'll automatically be friendly and open up a shop. Right, when we come here, I jump down to the left. Otherwise, you might run into that bear. And that bear might kill you. Yeah, I know we're not too far into the game. But yeah, that bear can be a bit of an uh, annoyance. He doesn't even drop that many um, ergo. You know, it doesn't quite equate to how annoying of an enemy he is. Yeah, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to activate his shortcut lever this elevator just so if anything does go pear shaped you've got a quick access back to the bottom yeah because you might when we when we descend in the shaft in the tower you might take a wrong step I've been known to do that once or twice and you might plummet to your doom so yeah I'm just gonna unlock that guys and then continue back down where I came from just on your way down whatever you do don't look down but yeah, this guy's going to bash through the doorway, if you remember. We're not going to fight him, just going to run straight past. He drops a key so he can unlock that nearby door, but all that's inside is a armour piece. So let's just leave it. Yeah, just run straight past him. Just jog on. Leave him to it. He'll follow you down a little bit and then sort of de-aggro. You'll hear him charging after you. Yeah, come down here, across the bridge. Um, the gate will open. There'll be a sort of large carcass enemy inside. Sometimes he'll start to charge and just charge into the wall. But if he comes out, try to block and wait for him to finish an attack combo and then run past. I think he does come out here, actually. Yeah, sometimes he'll just charge in place and hit the wall, then come and past him. But yeah, if he doesn't... Lock his first few attacks, then once he's finished his attack combo, run past him. You know, just play it safe. You try and run past while he's in the middle of attacking. He might slash a few times from behind. And it'll hurt. Right, so yeah, carefully drop down this shaft. Very, very carefully. You might want to equip the Black Cat's Ring just for backup. Even though I'm doing so. The amount of times I've been through this and I'm still not confident that I'm going to get down here without making mistakes. Yeah, but if you've got that ring equ uh, amulet equipped, ring. Keep calling them rings. Play Dark Souls too much. I think we all laugh, haven't we? But yeah, equip that ring. Uh, again, <laughs> equip the amulet. And if you do take a wrong, a wrong step, hopefully it won't kill you. I think that's perhaps the only time that amulet comes in useful in them towers where you have to sort of ascend or descend. Yeah, so out here and activate a stargazer. So you've got red fox and black cat over here. There is no need to talk to them, guys. I thought... 
I thought it's a possibility that if you don't help him here, then they will not be friendly later, and you'll have to fight them in the final area. But yeah, you don't have to help them though, do not worry, no need to help them, it will not impact anything. Perhaps a bit of dialogue, but yeah, when it comes to fighting them at the end, that will not be impacted if you don't help him. So yeah, just don't talk to them. Perhaps if you talk to them and say no, that might affect something, so just ignore them, run past them. You know, don't even look at them, just run straight past, pretend you didn't see them. That's it, come out here, I did die the first time because you want to kill this guy. I actually, tr I normally kill this guy near the quartz chest. There's a quartz chest in that building, behind the build the um, burning sign. Yeah, I normally kill him in there, but it went pear-shaped one time. So, we're just going to play it safe, lure him in it. We kill that first enemy, get ready for when he comes in. Use your fire, fire element, grindstone. Make sure your weapon's repaired, and just go to town on him, guys. Use your stuff, age your shield. And a few slashes behind it. That's it. Always hide behind your Aegis Shield. I'm good, very good at hiding behind things and attacking. That's it. Just watch your stamina. He gets out of breath pretty quick. He needs to work on his lung capacity. But fortunately, it's too late for him. So once you've killed him, you're going to come in here. There's going to be one enemy. Yep, there it goes. Who dropped that Ergo? Is that your Ergo? It's alright. I'll pick it up for you guys. Yeah, kill that enemy in the corner there. And loot this chest for quartz. Yeah, because if you come in here, normally you'll be trying to kill that guy, and then that big carcass enemy will come behind you. And obviously your stamina's a bit low from killing him, and it can catch you out. So best to just kill him in that area, that room you first dropped down. So once you've got the quartz, continue around here. Stay away from that guy, he always begins with a massive combo. Trust me, you do not want to get caught in that combo. And then come up here and answer the phone. This phone, if you don't um, go to hotel, yeah, the answer for this, guys, is candle. Yeah, the answer is candle. C-A-N-D-A-L. No, E. Yeah, candle. So, yeah, so your springs are reacting. Yeah, so you might have a bit of spring in your step at the moment. Yeah, unlock the shortcut gate just in case things go wrong. You do not want things to go south and then you have to take the long way around again. Yeah, after beating the archbishop... I found if you don't walk back and talk to Vanini, you can't interact with that telephone. So that's one of the that's another reason. And here, watch this. See that trap come out of nowhere? I think it's story related to get stuck in a trap there. No matter what part of the path you walk across, you always get stuck in a trap at that same point. I think it just magically appears from nowhere. An invisible trap. Yeah, grab that radiant ergo chunk or not. Um, grab this vivid ergo chunk. And they're coming here and quickly climb the ladder, guys, and you are out of danger. Yep, just get up the ladder. You can leave them to consumables if you're worried about that big guy with the pointy fingers stabbing you. You can just sprint straight to the ladder, guys, climb up here to get out of the way of danger. Right, so we've got our black trader unlocked. So now, whenever you need to stock up, just walk back here, guys, and stock up with the Malam District Black Market Trader. Um, what do you call him? MDBMT for short. MD, yeah, if I say MDBMT, <laughs> this is who I mean. Right, we need to what? We need to go and see the MDBMT. I can't even remember. But yeah, just come back and stock up, guys, when you need to. You might want to buy abrasives from him every now and then, because they will come useful. There will be some strategies later where I use perfection grindstone. You know, like we did on the Nameless Puppet at the end of New Game Plus. And because of that, you're not going to have your element grindstone. So you'll, when it comes out, you'll want to use abrasives, you know, to add that element to your weapon. Yeah, now you want acid. So rest, unlock Shortcut Gate, rest at Stargazer, guys, and put the acid grindstone on. And make sure you've got the amulet equipped, which increases damage against humans. Because coming up, it's a fight with the first... The first fight for the Black Market Sisterhood, over here. Right, some Spectre, as per always. Pretty much the same strategy as we did on New Game. 
Except now we're using Aegis Shield. Oh, and we're not using throwables. Yeah, so we're just doing... We're not using throwables, yeah. So it's, it's not entirely the same strategy. Yeah, same strategy as all the previous fights, I guess. So yeah, straight away, buff your weapon with Acid. And then just start blocking, guys, and attacking. As usual, watch your stamina gauge. Watch your Legion gauge as well. If stamina is slow and you finish an attack combo, rather than attack, recover your stamina. That's it. Just drop your guard for a moment. You do need to get used to raising your guard with the Aegis Shield as well. Because he doesn't raise it instantly. You have to sort of press guard, you know, if your shield's like a second for the attack. Because it takes you a moment to actually pop the shield out, unfortunately. So yeah, you need to get used to that timing as well. If you do stagger him, get a stagger window, you can lob a shot put. And then, oh, and he's dead. Finish him off with a fatal attack. Yeah, I think... What's that? 12,000 damage. I didn't think he even got a chance to heal up anything at all. Any guard regain. Yep, so rest at the Stargazer. You'll get a Radiant Ergo Crystal Fragment for beating them. Sorry, Crystal without the Fragment. You get a Gesture Torn, but we've already got it. Right, and you want to come in here, guys, and grab this portrait of a boy. I believe that is story related. Because you have to talk to Japato to get the key. Yeah, come in here, get the quartz. Yep, and then go in the back room, guys, and use the elevator to head up into the hotel. Yep, you have to. We're going into Rosa Isabel Street next, and you have to get it from Antonio. But to get it from Antonio, first you need Japato to tell you to go and see Antonio. But if you do not take the portrait of a boy, then I'm pretty sure Gepato's dialogue will not trigger. So you have to take portrait, and then you can talk to him. He'll mention talking to Antonio. You'll talk there, and she'll give you the key. You have no idea how happy I am to see you, Mr. Yep, so um, while we are making our way past a tree, we'll harvest it. Did I only get one? Yeah, so um, after this, guys, I will be uploading this video eventually. You know, in one, just one massive video, the whole platinum. Um, yeah, talk to just Pato. There's a portrait of a boy, a very young man there. He's got a very chiselled cheekbones. Right, so activate P organ. We've got three quartz. Okay, so what we're going to buy? We're going to finish this one. Phase five, retain, guard, regain two. We're going to go for ability type and quick wish stone use. Yep, then we're going to go over to phase three and increase cube uses one. Yep, we're going to go on to um, survival type, enhance deflection recovery, I believe. Yep, the bottom one, Enhanced Deflection Recovery. That doesn't help a great deal, but, you know, it's just something else to add, you know, to your arsenal, I guess. Yep, and then you want Item Type, Increase Throwing Object Possession 3. Yeah, so pretty much, I guess, if you do get deflected, you'll just recover a bit quicker. It's not like a game changer, but... Yeah, so once you've done so, we've spoke to Chipato, we've activated our P-Organ. Let's come down and have a chat with Antonio. Yeah, she'll give the Rosa Isabel Street entrance key. Yep, the um, Rysek for short. Sure. Yeah, grab the Rysek from her. Come up here and open the door. Yeah, after this goes live, the day after, I'll probably upload a full video for the Blas Blasphemous 2 guide. Or DMC5. I'll put it pretty much try to put them two up within two days. And then the third day, after this video goes live, I'll upload the full video of this. And um, then after that will be Outlast 2. And then Metal Gear Solid, I guess, will be next. So yeah, I think I'm hoping guys for Outlast 2, the video, to be up over the weekend. Perhaps Sunday. I'm gonna go for Sunday. So yeah. Outlast 2, hopefully you can expect on Sunday guys and that would just be one full Rosa video of a platinum Street. probably about Enter two to three hours long it won't be too long yeah so full platinum 
in two three hours. It will take you a bit longer because there's a mode, there's a trophy for completing this mode without dying, completing the game on the hardest difficulty without dying. Yeah, so rest of Stargazer guys, and level up your capacity to um, 30. Yes, yeah, so you might want to use some consumables. You want six, at our current level, you want 63,252 ergo to do this. So you might need to use some consumables. Yeah, capacity to 30. That will allow you to equip most our good amulets, but still have some good defense parts on you as well. You need about capacity 35. Um, with our builds, with our sort of weapon, the age shield we use, and most of the amulets I use most of the time, sometimes you have to use some of the worst defense. Not some of the worst, but you can't use all the best ones. Sometimes you have to move around with a weight. Sometimes you can use the best part in one category, but you have to use sort of like a medium class part in another category, you know, just to keep you under that slightly heavy weight. But once you get to about capacity 35, you can almost equip the best of everything pretty much. As long as you say, you know, the, norm, the normal variants, not the plus ones, which are heavier anyway. But yeah, so once you've done that, guys, we're going to make our way along here. You want to make sure you've still got the acid grindstone on, because there's a human boss coming up, the white lady. So in here, get ready to do an R2, a heavy attack. Do not do an R1 attack, because you'll probably hit the walls. And I did not mean to knock him off. I meant to roll off, but somehow I rolled into him and knocked him off. I'm going to come around here, grab the Radiant Ergo Chunk. And then just bring it around here. Make sure you strafe to avoid that guy's gunfire. Then come down this path on the right. And once you get in the sort of cathed the cathedral square, in this, in this sort of um, square down here. Yeah, you'll be a white lady. So just make sure you got your health is full before you interact with the white lady because it was she was spawning. in. She's a human. So yeah, as she spawns in, use acid grindstone. And then just like normal guys, hide behind your shield. Fight with honor behind you from behind your shield. And yeah, just keep attacking her. She might do some quite some fast combos on you. So just watch your stamina, she can knock it down pretty quickly. And she can be a bit annoying when you're lobbing shot puts, because um, if you're lobbing the throw balls. She can keep like sidestepping out of the way, so you might not want to waste too much on that if you keep missing. Oh, there, Fury attack. Did not see that coming. Yeah, so watch out for that one. She's a bit salty. You stole her sister. Stole her virginity. She's not very happy about it. She's not the same person she used to be. And, yeah. You know, I, f I think, do you think this build is easier than our new game build, for those of you that followed my new game playthrough? I don't know, I think it is. I think it is easier. Because the thing with that build, you still had to um, kind of learn, kind of dodgy attacks a little bit, but now you can just stand there and guard. Sort of eliminates most of danger. Obviously, it's more management here in terms of your stamina and legion gauge. But yeah, I find, I find this build easier. Well, the problem is, this build doesn't really reach maximum effectiveness until sort of end game, you know, because you need, you need the ability to for your Le Legion magazine to heal more Legion when you use them, because with Legion magazine effect enhance one, they don't really do much. But yeah, now we want the Electric Grindstone. So yeah, equip that guys, Electric Grindstone, and um, you want to make sure you've got the Puppet Amulet equipped. We're not going to talk to Julian. Just leave him to it. He can mourn his wife. Yes. His wife, she's a bit of a robot. He can mourn her. The good thing is, I bet he never had any complaining. He probably had a pretty peaceful life, actually. A puppet as a wife. Right, come down here. Drop down this hole. And pass here. No, that's just a bad joke. Yeah, pass these guys. If you roll into them once, you can normally knock them back. Um, repeated rolls don't really seem to do anything. But the f very first roll when you run into them, do it and it will normally knock them back, guys. 
I'm not sure why, but yeah, the very first roll, they always get interrupted by it. Yeah, once you get up here, use the electric grindstone and kill these enemies. You don't have to, but you'll find if you try to loot this chest, you're probably going to get killed. So, just kill these enemies, guys, and play it safe. Just be careful, because some of them torso enemies might come up to you from behind. So just be very careful about your surroundings. Yeah, they're, they're, well, I was going to say they're walking away. They're dragging themselves away. Yeah, it won't be that rude to them. Go on, walk away. Yeah, so loot this for a quartz. And then walk back to a recent stargazer. So once you um, reappear, it's going to head back down to the tunnels, but at the fork, um, you're going to go right this time. Yeah, when you get out of the tunnel as well, there's one of them enemies. And she does a pretty mad combo of attacks. And she can instantly kill you if you're not careful. If you get caught in a combo, yeah, it can mean game over with this enemy coming up. So what you might want to do, if you, do, if you go too far forward, you're going to spawn one of the exploding enemies. So get her attention. Lure her down to you before going too far forward. Like I say, if you go too far forward, you're going to spawn an exploding enemy. So lure her down to you, then run past and climb a ladder. That's it. That way, she probably will not attack you as you're climbing a ladder. So it's probably just a little bit safer. Right, climb ladder. Continue along here. Watch out for the guy on the top. With his gun, he missed me. Pass this guy. Up here. And then take a left. There's going to be a guy with the gun on the right, so try to strafe when you go down these steps, like so, zigzag. Make yourself a harder target. Take this middle path and unlock the shortcut gate. This is necessary for later, um, because after beating Naxasia in Chapter 11, Test Subject 826 is going to be down here, and that's going to be a quick way to get to him. So come out here, where all the burning crates are, and bodies, and whatever, puppets. Yeah, watch out for rolling ball, just stick to left or right to avoid it. And then sprint to the top, pass the fat clown, the mad clown puppet. Yep, yeah, I was unfortunate then to get caught out with them, them enemies lobbing the bombs at me, and almost died. Yeah, grab that vivid ergo chunk, or if you're worried about grabbing that and getting caught from behind, just leave it and you can come back down for it in a second. Come up here and activate the stargazer, and the mad clown puppet should follow you up, so if you die, He's going to spawn here and you can just run down and kill him from behind. But yeah, he's going to drop a quartz, so we want to kill him. Here comes Fury Attack. I'm going to be ready to um, absolute defense. I absolutely blocked that one. Yep, and then use the electric grindstone. And just normal stuff, guys. Hide behind his shield. Fury Attack. Oh yeah, I got caught with that one. Never mind. Yep, yeah, just keep swiping him. You know, I'm, I'm quite confident I could platinum this game in under 10 hours. I know this is taken about 13 hours, hasn't it? Yep, I think once I combine all the videos, it's going to be about 13 hours long. Yep, I'm confident I could do this in 10 hours. I'd probably remove the grinding. You know we did that grinding in um, at the very start of the series. Chapter 3, Infinini works for half hour for 20,000, which is pretty much nothing. Yeah, I mean, it does kind of help a bit. But in the grand scheme of things, when you experience with a game, it doesn't really mean anything. Just 20,000k at that lower level. Yeah, so I'm going to up... Up, um... So I'm going to say upgrade. We're going to raise our level in... in um, vitality to 23. That costs you 47,973 ergo. So yeah. But, sorry, not vitality, vigor. Yeah, put Vigor guys up to 23. Right, we killed the Mad Clown. We got a Quartz from him.
you know, just need to use a few more. If you don't have any consumables, you can just keep going, going down from a safe point and killing the enemies if you want. Come back. Remember, if you do do any farming, equip the. Uh, it's got a weird name, the Noblus. The Noblus Oblige weapon. Yeah, so when you go down and kill the enemies, you'll be Noblus. Yeah, but it'll help you get more Ergo. Right, so um, we are in the massive Opera House. So you're going to come up, come up here, go left. Sprint past a spider. Quickly come down here. You might want to equip some disruption defense parts. It's up to you. I don't really bother here. Because I'm not going to stick around for long to get caught. But if you're too close to spider, once you just the sort of charge attack, you might get caught in it. Yeah, so through here, up these steps. Unlock this shortcut door, very important. Because this basically leads you straight from the boss room to the stargazer. Yeah, drop down here and unlock this trinity door. Yeah, but I loot this one because it's got a quartz inside it. We will be getting all the keys, by the way, for the Trinity Sanct Sanctums, um, but I won't be looting them all. Yeah, so you'll get that radiation converter plus one. But what we wanted was quartz. That's why we went there for. Right back here. Back into these corridors. Take a right, come over here. And loot the safe. I think this has got a Vanini box inside. You know the ones you give to Paul Cinella? Yep, incredible Vanini collection. Grab that from the safe. You don't really need that if I'm honest. I don't, even, I don't think I even give it to him. At all. I just grabbed it in case you guys wanted it. But yeah, grab that. Come up here. Take a right at the top. Grab this um, Ergo Resplendent Ergo Chunk. Carry on. Now quickly climb this ladder in here. If you're not quick, that spider might catch up and do the explosion effect for the disruption. And it can still hit you, even if you're up here. But if you quickly climb that ladder before the enemies get too close, and normally the aggro. That's it. Loot the chest, guys, to the jeweled cryptic vessel. And then walk back to the stargazer. I don't think... I, do I use that? I don't think I use it. I do get all these cryptic vessels, but I don't think I use them all. I just use one that leads to quartz. But just like with the crap, um, the crap supply boxes, I get all of them. I get all the Vanini collection boxes, and I also get the um, all the cryptic vessels, just in case. Right, so we walk back to recent Stargazer. Now we're ready for the boss. So this boss is a puppet. So you want to make sure you've got the electric grindstone equipped. And I did die to this boss once, so you're going to see a little edit in a second. Yep. Summon the Spectre. It's a shame you can't summon the Spectres, you know, at the start of dungeons. That'd be nice. A nice little um, quality of life feature. But no doubt players would complain about it. Oh, it makes a game too easy. We can't have that. No, I'm not. you're not a true gamer for games too easy, you know. But I think it would have been a nice effect. I mean, it's no multiplayer, is there? So it would have been nice if you could summon the Spectres from the start. Right, so yeah, it's a puppet. And I think it does... I think you can go for slash damage with him. I know the second stage he's got to do slash damage. The first stage might be strike and the second stage slash. But the second stage is a difficult one. So yeah, try to equip slash parts. Open the door. And this is probably where you're going to see my little edit. There we go. And he magically appeared. So yeah, King of Puppets. So yep, yeah, use your electric grindstone. Make sure you've got the amulet equipped, which increases your damage against puppets. Yep, yeah, if you're not perfect guarding, then you're not a true gamer. I guess I'm not a true gamer, so I'm just hiding behind my shield. Yep, yeah, so just normal stuff, guys. Your electric grindstone and hide behind your shield and attack from the safety of the rear of your shield. It'll go down quick enough, but when it comes to second stage, be very, very careful. It can do massive combos, Romeo can. Romeo done. Romeo! The kind of puppet I want to be with. Yeah, we'll do um, mad combos you can. Just be very careful. You might want to make sure you've always got health. Your health is always full with this guy. And your stamina is more or less full. So only attack probably once or twice at a time. 
and then you let stamina whistle. Yeah, if you get caught in this massive combo, it can pretty much kill you if you're not careful. Yeah, and watch your legion as well. You do not want to run out of legion here. I guess if you want to just get through it quickly, you could just block and lob throwables at him. It's up to you. I mean, yeah. If you don't mind going back and restocking, yeah, just lob throwables at him, guys. If you want. It's going to make it a bit easier. Like I say, if you get caught in this combo, you're probably dead. Yeah, I think I still locked him quite well then. And got him. Yeah, I think eventually he does use fire element on his sword. I think that's when he does a combo. Can't remember exactly. You know, when you see him apply fire to a sword. Yeah, even he's got a grindstone. Right, we're going to rest at the Stargazer. And where are we now? Yep, so we're going to level up bigger now to 26. That will cost you 47,981. To be precise. Yeah, bigger 26. Yeah, and we're not going to warp. We're not going to warp back to hotel just yet. And um, we're just going to carry on. Yeah, so vigor, guys, 26. Just give you a bit more stamina. I get vigor to 30, and then I move on to um, I think advanced next. When it's got the you know the main stats to 30. I'm good. I'm so proud that I got to see. Yes, I talk with Japao. He will not give you uh, maximum pull cell. That's only on new game. Yeah, you're not going to get another pull cell from him. Sorry. Yeah, but you have talked to him. Story related. Yeah, grab that dim ergo chunk. The first item you'll see on the left as you come down the street. Carry on. Just run past all these cleaning ladies. Yeah, all the way down until you get to the sort of archway passage. When you do, go left behind the stall and you'll find a resplendent ergo chunk. Carry on, watch out for that guy. That puppet will drop about 1,000 ergo, I think, but yeah, I'm not going to kill it. Now, down here, I'm going to kill these enemies down here. Because what you'll find, as you open the gate, you might not be able to be attacked, but they might hit you just as you sort of... Um, just as you finish opening the gate and you're able to be attacked again. They might just get perfect timing and attack you as soon as you let go of the gate. So yeah, just run down to the gate, kill a few enemies which attack you near it. Grab the vivid ergo chunk and then open it. Right, head into the arcade now. So it's going to run straight ahead guys and um, rest at the stargazer. We'll not rest at it but we will repair it. Because some enemy is going to be chasing you down. So yeah, rest at the stargazer. And make sure you're ready because we're going to be using our stopwatch in a second. Yes, yeah, so repair the stargazer. And then continue through the uh, the path opposite. Where you came from. Yeah, so just make sure you got your stopwatch ready. Right, continue on. And um, once you get to the end, go right and grab the key. And then walk back to the stargazer. Yeah, grab the Lorenzini Arcade First House key. That's it. It's easier to just walk back than um, running past the enemies. Because it de-aggroes the enemies as well. So it works out pretty well. And obviously it refills all your healing items and whatnot. Right, so once you're back here, we're going to be fighting a carcass enemy next. So slot in the flame grindstone. And um, equip the carcass amulet. So yeah, flame grindstone and the carcass amulet. And this carcass enemy, you have to kill it because um, the gate will not unlock until you've killed it. Yeah, some of these fights, I had to check because there's some large enemies and I had to run, run ahead and see if they unlock any doors. And this one does. You have to kill him to unlock the door. So yeah, unlock this gate, guys. This is the middle path from the Stargazer. The middle path. Yeah, over here. I'm going to wait for him to lob the projectile and then drop down. That's it. Grab this dim ergo chunk on that ledge. Come all the way down to the basement. Right, yeah, this big enemy, you've got to kill him. You have to kill him to open the path forward. 
You'll see, see that gate, it's locked. So what I'm doing, I'm coming over here just to make sure any smaller enemies are not going to follow me. Right, I'm going to use your flame grindstone and take out this big guy. Hide behind his shield. And just keep slashing him, guys. Yep, recover your stamina while you get a window to do so. And just repeat hiding. Hiding and attacking. It's a good combination. Yeah, you get the ladder frame from him plus one. And the gate will open forward. Okay, so up these steps. Up here. Just ignore these enemies. Turn right. Carry on straight ahead. Up these steps. Into this path. Pass the big guys. Don't bother fighting them. You'll, you'll probably only die. Yep, yeah, in here you might want to kill this enemy here. Because she will chase you into the next part. And we're going to be talking to a trader soon. So yeah, kill her. Carry on in here. Unlock the shortcut door. Just in case. Yeah, unlock it. Come in here and pick up the key. Yep, that is the arcade underground passage key. And they talk to the trader. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna need to buy some things from this trader, guys. Yeah, we want to buy thermite times three because they're quite cheap here. So we'll just buy what he's got. I guess you could buy flame abrasives as well if you want. And you want to buy the golden record, the golden shadow flower record. A very important, guys. Make sure you buy the record. The Golden Shadow Flower. We pretty much have to do another playthrough just for the records. Because you can get all three endings in one playthrough. But, you know, there's not really much need. There's not really no need to do that when you have to play through a game a second time anyway. Unfortunately, just for the records. Which only appear in New Game Plus and beyond. Right, come and unlock the skate guys with the key we got. The underground key. Come in here. Take a left. Near that enemy. Continue down here. You might want to strafe. Just so he doesn't lob a projectile at you from behind. Try not to get stuck on the lamp. Yeah that guy will come from the path on the left. Come up the steps. And unlock the shortcut gate. You want to do this. Because there's a tricky enemy coming up. And we need to switch our grindstone to electric now. So you unlock that gate. Come out. Go right. To reach the stargazer. Yep, electric grindstone. And you also want the amulet which increases your damage against puppets. We've got one of them annoying sort of mad jester puppets coming up. This guy should be classed as a mini boss because he's an absolute pain in the ass. You know, they, they class a mad clown puppet as a mini boss, don't they? Kind of. So I think this guy should be as well. And this guy can be worse because he just he attacks you like mad. I guess it's not as bad as the baby. I think the baby ones are the worst. You know, the baby puppets. They can just go mad, they can. Like, throw the, throw the toys out of pram. Start bouncing around. Can be quite tricky. But yeah, just before you approach here, use your electric grindstone, because you'll normally jump through them barrels once you get close. And then just get ready to hold out your shield, guys, and start attacking him. Eventually, the car cast enemies will break out from the cells on the left. So just make sure you're ready flat. Try to make sure your back isn't to them. So you do not want them to attack you from behind. Um, but when they do come out. They should start attacking the puppet enemy. You know. Assuming that he's closer to them than what you are. And he, they might distract him as well. But yeah. Once you've got him. You get the hunter's amulet we've already got. But you have to kill that to open the gate forward anyway. Yeah. But pick up the resplendent ergo chunk. That was on the floor near the barrels. That uh, knock, uh, um, spawned through. But yeah. You have to kill that big puppet guys to unlock the gate to progress yeah come up here next kill these few enemies because it's going to be a chest in a second yeah kill these three mother and her two sons yeah kill them and then this chest here guys this chest is exclusive to new game plus and inside is a recharge amulet plus one so if you remember that amulet increases your it Basically, automatically regenerates your health. But that one's not too bad, actually. Yeah, pick the Dimurgo chunk, guys, and unlock the shortcut gate. 
Yes, that automatically regenerates your health when it's equipped. We've already got one from New Game, but that one, the plus one, it pretty much incre it increased it almost double. So it should regenerate your health twice as quick as the original amulet. So it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, just bear it in mind, if you want to equip that at times, you can. I always seem to have the Extreme Modification Amulet equipped, a uh, Carries Amulet, and always a Amulet which increases, increases damage against a particular type of enemy. And my fourth slot, I switch it up. Normally with either the Im Immunity Tablet, or a Motivity, or I guess you could lob in the Recharged Amulet as well. Right, so, um, yeah, be ready. What have I got a pocket watch ready? I don't think I use that. Yeah, so just run past these guys. There's a strong puppet up here, but we're not going to kill it. It only drops a armor piece, if I remember. So, yeah, we're not going to bother killing it. Just come up here, guys. Keep to the left here, otherwise that dog which jumps off that carriage might land on you. Yeah, come to the steps and enter the cable car, guys, and it will take you into the gallery. Oh yeah, I think I do actually use a pocket watch soon, but it's probably like 5 or 10 minutes away. Yes, you use this guys, and it will take you to the gallery. You're going to unlock the shortcut ladder, then drop down and rest at the Stargazer. You've got that annoying little section at the start of the gallery, where you've got them three, them three bomber enemies dropping bombs at you. And a big shield enemy as well, that you have to get past. But I seem, I use throwing cells here, they work pretty well. But I almost got into trouble, because the... Um, the drill enemy came up to me from behind. Normally he's not caught up to me that fast, but he he does. So you might want to get rid of this guy beforehand, because you'll see what will happen if not. Yeah, so repair the stargazer. And um yeah, you could use the electric grinds on here. So yeah, these enemies going forward in this bit, you might want to kill them. You'll see you'll see why in a few minutes. Yeah, pick that vivid ergo chunk. I'm going to kill this guy because he's blocking my path on the way out here. Yeah, but you can use your electric grindstone because we will be going back to Stargazer, guys, before we need to use it. So, yeah. You might want to kill that guy there. Remember, charge attacks work quite well on them. But, yeah, you'll see he's going to follow me up here. And here, I normally kill... Now, I kill the first two with throwing cells. Two to each. Two to him. Yeah, see, come to me from behind, little sucker. Yeah, but then that one over there. I normally kill them two with throwing cells. And they can get past the last ones without too much trouble. Yep, and they can normally get past there without too much trouble. Yeah, but as you can see, when things go wrong, <laughs> they can go very, very wrong. Yeah, grab that Radiant Ergo chunk and then climb down this ladder. Yeah, so like I say, you might want to take out <laughs> that drill guy before you go up. Normally he's not got up to me so quick, but I guess just random occurrence, he was like mega fast. But yeah, through here. Now I do not want to fight him. So you do not come down the ladder until he's got his back turned and he's walking away. Then while he's walking away, we're going to quietly make our way over to his chest, loot the quartz. Right, and then I'm going to unlock that shortcut gate and walk back to Stargazer, guys. This is good to do because if you die... Yeah, if you die, you're not going to have to go that long way around again. And, um, I mean, I'm hoping I don't die. But if I do, I do not want to go through that part again with them three bomber enemies and the shield guy. So, unlock the shortcut gate. No matter what, no matter how confident you are, always unlock the shortcut gate, guys. Because you never know what's going to happen. And, like I say, you do not want to be going through that annoying section again. Right, so once I unlock it, I walk back to Stargazer. Because now I'm going to walk back to the hotel. So you yeah, unlock that shortcut gate. So what I could have done, yeah, instead of warp, warping back to Stargazer, just warp straight to hotel. That's what I meant to do. Yeah, so unlock the shortcut gate, guys, and go straight back to hotel. Don't do it the long way. So yeah, back at the hotel, we're going to talk to Vanini. The reason I have to come back here... It's just because the telephone in the gallery, you likely won't be able to access it 
It won't be ringing if you don't talk to Fanini. See, it's happened to me before. I got to telephone without talking to Amir. And um, I couldn't, the telephone wasn't ringing. So yeah, come here, exhaust Vanini's dialogue again. He'll mention the Ergo Wavelength Decoder. Just ex exhaust his dialogue, and then come up here, harvest a gold coin tree. Yep, and then head back to Geppetto's room. And we should have four quartz at the moment. If you've not got four, then you've probably missed one. Or, um, yeah, I guess something like that. You might have missed one. Yeah, so take your seat. And um, we're going to, we're going to finish that one. Phase three, in cu increase cube uses one. We're going to go for a attack type, enhances weapon attack, when durability is at maximum one. So finally taking that perk. So increase your damage when you're, you've got your weapon fully repaired. Next it's going to be add belt slots one. And it's going to be um, survival type, lowest guard damage in discharge state. And then it's item type, increase consumable effect duration one. And attack type, enhances weapon attack when durability is at maximum two. Yeah, they add belt slots, it only increases, gives you an extra slot on your belt, not your extra bag. Your extra bag will always be the same. But on your belt, you'll, you'll get an extra slot on each. So basically it gives you two extra slots. Yep, then once you've done so guys, back down to the Stargazer and teleport back to the Grand Exhibition Gallery. Yeah, increase consumable effect duration. That pretty much gives you 50, it makes your, not your grindstone, but your consumables. It makes your consumables last for 50% longer. And once you bought them both, consumable effect duration one and two, they'll basically last for double the time. So your normal, your normal sort of abrasives that normally last for 30 seconds. With them both, they'll last for one minute. So it's quite, it's much more potent than the grindstone effect duration. Yeah, much more potent. I don't know why, maybe, it, well, hopefully it's a glitch, I don't know. But yeah, for some reason, the consumable effect duration is much, much longer and more potent than the grindstone effect duration ability. Right, so we're going to open that main door of the exhibi exhibition gallery, come outside, quickly climb that ladder before the puppet gets a chance to attack you. Climb up here. And you want to kill this guy because he'll probably block your way and he might come up to you from behind in the next part. So you want to kill him. It can be a bit awkward on here. If you press R1 with this weapon, you're likely going to hit the railings and your weapon's going to bounce off. So yeah, go for R2 attacks there. Right, so in here, I always kill that first one. If you don't go too close to the other bomber enemy on the right, he shouldn't attack you. And by the way, Bell is down there. If you want Bell to appear in the hub area, you're going to have to drop down and talk with her. Yep, and then obviously we're going to bait this shield guy away so we can get past. Sprint over here and drop down quickly. You might take an attack. That guy always seems to hit me in the back. Yeah, we're going to drop down here, come down the steps. Right, while the guy is, not the guy, the sort of drill enemy is drilling through the gate. We're going to grab that vivid... What was it? Vivid Ergo Fragment, was it? Yeah, we're going to grab that and then be ready to kill these two when they drop down. You can use your electric grindstone, just do a bit more damage. Doesn't matter, you're not going to waste it, you will be resting the Stargazer before the next boss. So yeah, kill his two enemies as they drop down. And then get ready to run behind him as he comes through. You might want to kill him, it's up to you. I'm just going to sprint, uh, sprint past him. Up these steps, onto the sort of little balcony, take a left. And this telephone should be ringing now. So the answer is, I'll tell you in a second. Riddle me this, riddle me that. Who's afraid? Oh yeah, the answer is egg. So yeah, choose little eggy. What cannot be used before it breaks? Yeah, your springs are reacting. I think glass is the opposite. 
what cannot be used after it breaks glass yeah so yeah glass would be the opposite to that wouldn't it right so yeah you get you'll get the um, trinity key your springs will start reacting come in here kill that guy you want to kill him because otherwise he might follow you down here and shoot shoot you from behind them guys always shoot you in a combo of three remember like a burst fire three times yeah turn around that statue you can only interrupt that statue if you answer the phone you got a question correct yeah grab the trinity key from there you can probably get trinity you can probably do that anyway actually you probably just got to answer the phone yeah sprint past here and do not take too long because the enemies might start shooting you we're going to leave this enemy no need to kill him i thought there was but there isn't yeah he does not open i thought he might unlock a door here but he doesn't your path forward is already open yeah so sprint up here kick down the ladder first the shortcut ladder and unlock this chest guys and take the sturdy crap supply box and once you have that and remember make sure you kick down the shortcut ladder walk back to the recent stargazer yeah it's going to get ready for the boss now so this boss is a human so you want to apply you want the acid grindstone yeah the acid grindstone and you want to equip the um, acid not the acid but the amulet which increases damage against humans so your acid grindstone and just like we've done before guys did I die to this guy? I can't recall now but remember this guy can hit hard and he can grab you as well I think he does strike damage because he's just punching with his bare fists his bare knuckles so yeah I think it's strike damage but I don't think he does any debuffs so you can actually unequip the the um, immunity amulet if you want to I think I just keep it equipped now and um, but yeah just going to keep doing the same thing as the previous bosses guys we're going to just be hiding beyond the shield blocking watching our stamina and our legion use the acid grindstone and just keep attacking him remember he enters the second stage at half HP it's not like the others where you have to take him down the HP gauge all the way yeah behind the crates guys you have a dim ergo chunk and um, roll through these boxes and behind here Yep, it's a resplendent ergo chunk. So wait till they follow you around, then go around the opposite way. Climb the ladder, guys, and go and beat the boss. Yeah, use summon the spectre at the um, summon point, and then, yep, go through a doorway, guys, to beat him. Right, I'll just leave a video playing for a second, guys. I've just got to shoot away for a few minutes. I'm going to go and put the kettle on, actually. And, um, yeah, just put the kettle on, and uh, just go and get a heater. Pretty cold in this room. But, yeah, you know what you're doing? Just beat up this guy, hide behind his shield, attack him, use it as a grindstone. And then after this, I should be back by the time I beat him. But yeah, when level up, vigor to 30, and then warp to the hotel. Oh yeah, there's crit critical choice after this fight, very important. So yeah, after this fight, there's going to be a critical choice. And you want to pick hope of a cure. Very important, hope of a cure, guys. Right, give me a minute. Did you get him yet? Oh, we're on this. Oh, we're still on first aid. Coming up to you, slacking. Should be dead by now. Here we go. Yeah, so make sure you're ready to um, block his free way attacks with your absolutely defensible favorite art. Yeah, he hits pretty hard, so you can see. Make sure your health is always full. You Spectre, yeah, if you need to, use your wish stones. Don't, don't be shy about using your friendship wish stone. Having more friendship is always a good thing.
Still going. Yeah, thank goodness you don't have to take down, down um, two full HP bars. Yeah, so I guess at least they showed us a little bit of mercy with this guy. Champion Victor! Yeah, so Simon Man is critical choice here, guys. Make sure you pick Hope of a Cure. Same dialogue option as we picked in the new game. So you want to do the same thing here. Hope of a Cure. So that will give you humanity. You should get the Ergo is Whispering at this point. So your humanity is sort of advanced to the next stage now. Yeah, I think you only get that key if um, you pick Hope of a Cure. Yeah, the Saintist of a Mercy Statue Gallery key. Yeah, I think you only get that if you pick Hope of a Cure. Um, you get his Ergo. You get quite a bit of Ergo for beating him. Yeah, the Reborns, the Reborn Champions Ergo. Like I say, Reset Star Gazer. You want Vigor 30. That will cost you 63,000. 986 and then after that guy's going to walk back to Hotel Krat we're going to talk to Eugenie to get the four fingered glove yeah four fingers Freddy got four fingered yes you want to, you want that <laughs> four fingered by Alidoro and then um, you want to go into the training area to refill your fable slots and walk back to Grand Exhibition Conference Room and um, we're going to lob on the electric blitz grindstone and we're going to make our way to um, to the Baron Swamp. Yeah, on the way to Baron Swamp, you're going to run into Red Fox and Black Cat. I'm telling you this now, guys, just because I've got to um, just go and brew my coffee. Yeah, so um, you're going to talk to Red Fox and Black Cat just before the, the tram. Make sure you talk with them and give them a gold coin fruit. Very important. They will give you the record, Quix Otic and the Gesture Beg, which we already have. Yeah, run around that pillar three times for no particular reason. Yeah, if you if you do not give them a gold coin fruit here, then you will have to fight them in the final chapter. There will be no way to avoid it. If you want the option to not fight them in the final chapter, which pretty much removes two boss fights, so it's not a bad thing, give them gold coin fruit here. So I'll leave it up to you. If you want to fight them, don't. If you don't want to fight them, give them a gold coin fruit as I'm doing here. So yeah, and um, on the way down to chapter 8, you're going to find a Radiant Ergo Chunk just before the save point, guys. Right, give me a minute. I should be back. Can you spare any? <gasps> That's Ignore right. that. I won't end now. Go. Wow. The eye is my no. I'm just going to pause the video, guys, because I need to make a visit to a ladies' room. Yeah, just gonna pause it here. Right, I'm back guys, <laughs> all done, yeah. Just had to drop the kids off, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I've got my hot drink ready. Should I be drinking that? What What does a stereo, what's a um, stereotypical gamer supposed to drink when they're playing games? Well, I guess I'm not playing that, I'm commentating. But yeah, grab that Radiant Ergo Chunk, guys, once you get down here. Uh, come in here and activate Stargazer. Yep, if you need to restock up on your throwables, go back and see the um, MD BMT. You know, you know the uh, Malham District Black Market Trader. Yeah, they could have given him a generic name. You know, just something normal like, I don't know, Gary, Opti. I don't know if he, I guess if he identifies as an elephant, they could have called him Dumbo. Yeah, just something a bit simpler than Malham District Black Market Trader. Yeah, grab that Vivid Ergo Chunk. Just be careful here. 
Yeah, I did die there. It's a bit of an edit there. Yeah, them dogs, remember, they can explode. Who, who dropped that Ergo? I think... Did you drop that? Yeah, I just picked up the Ergo for you guys. Got it back for you. Yeah, watch out for them two traps. Yeah, pick that resplendent Ergo chunk. Because I've got the immunity amulet equipped, that corrupted pull is not giving me corruption. Right, be careful here. Watch out for that massive ball come trolling down the hill. And yeah, watch out for this guy. So he's a puppet, but as you can see, he's electrified. So um, your electric grindstone ain't quite going to work on him. But I'm not going to fight him anyway. All he drops, I think he drops a legion caliber. Yeah, when you cross that bridge, jump across the middle, because it's going to break. And then in this tower, I died in here twice. Yeah, very, very carefully, you want to kill all the enemies as you come up here. Just watch with your shield. If you use your shield, make sure you've got your back to the wall. Yeah, and watch out for the guy coming behind you, if you didn't kill him. Yeah, watch out, because um, if you've got your back near the middle of the shaft, when you block your shield, it might knock you off the ledge. So whenever you block him with your shield, uh, just make sure you back to the wall. Oh! <laughs> Even then you might get knocked. Yeah, just be very careful, guys. It's very annoying, this part. So, but slowly but surely, you'll gradually get up there. You could use throwball if you want. I just try not to use them because I didn't want to be making too many trips um, to see the MDBMT. I didn't want to make too many trips back to him. So I pretty much saved all my throwballs for the last few bosses. And I have no idea where this guy came from. I think he might have fell down the bottom and he climbed back up. Yeah, so um, pick up. I'm going to pick up the Ergo that she dropped. Come over here guys and activate the minecart. And it will reveal a shortcut back to the Stargazer. Yeah, so once I've got this um, comet recorded, guys, this will be saving for about four hours. It's going to take about four hours for this to um, process. And then probably another few hours to upload it. But yeah, I'll be cracking straight back on for Outlast 2. Try and get that ready for the weekend. Yeah, so talk to Ali Doro here. And you're going to say talk, and you want to um, talk to him about Eugenie, about Eugenie's gloves. He won't be very happy. He'll basically lob them back in your face. He, he don't even try them on. They're actually very good. They're com more comfortable. They are more comfortable than what they look, mate. Trust me. Yeah, but you're going to talk to him. And now you're going to craft any weapons which you can. Um, the Frozen Feast, you already have it. Don't craft any weapons you've already crafted. Yeah, I'm just trying to... Where were, where were we in the text guide? Um... Yeah, so what you should be crafting now is a Twisted Angel's Ergo. Uh, sorry, that's the Ergo. Now you're going to craft the Trident of the Covenant. You're going to craft the Puppet Ripper weapon. And the amulet is going to be the Arm of God amulet. Because you've already got a Frozen Feast weapon. So with that, um, with that Ergo, you're going to craft the Arm of God. Right, so you're going to come around here. Just bring past all these enemies. Watch out for the um, bear traps on the floor. There's quite a few around here. Yeah, pick up the um, Dim Ergo Chunk beside that tree. Come down here, go left. And this is a New Game Plus amulet. Yeah, kill this guy. If not, he's just going to attack you while you're looting the chest. Yeah, so kill him and loot the chest. Inside here is the Technique Amulet Plus One. As you can imagine, it gives you more technique when you equip it. Yeah, so grab that and then come around here, guys. I come along this way because I don't want to ergo that tough enemy near the tower. Because otherwise, he'll, he'll chase you all the way down here. And you'll have to fight two of them at once. But you want to come down here and fight this guy by himself. As you can see, his head is electrified. So I don't think electric is going to work on this guy. So yeah, but you want to take him out because otherwise you're not going to be able to rest at the nearby Stargazer. So yeah, just kill him. Yeah, watch out for his Fury attack. There we go, got him. You can loot him afterwards if you want for whatever he dropped. Come along here. And now this puppet 
this is a broken puppet and he wants to know how to become a human so you're going to show him all four gestures you're going to show him all about madness what are the gestures we have to show him yeah you're going to show him where are we oh yeah you're going to tell him about happiness you're going to tell him about anger you're going to tell him about sadness tell him about clap and you're going to tell him about masturbation and um, after all that, he'll give you a attribute resistance ampule. You'll give him the radiant ergo fragment. He'll give you a resplendent ergo fragment. He'll give the dark moon moonstone of the covenant once you gave him a clap. And um, after that, talk to him once more, guys, and you'll get a quartz. Yeah, so you do that to get a quartz from him. Rest at Stargazer. Right, and then we're going to move into it. Remember, you got a turret shooting you, and you got the two puppets from the future, the two Terminators. Sprint over here, pass a campfire. The never-ending burning campfire. You grab the dim ergo chunk from the top of that scrap heap. Continue along here. You want to kill these two puppets. There's one with legs and one without legs. Yeah, kill them both. That's it. And then unlock this chest. And inside is the fancy Vanini collection. Right, once you picked it up, come back into the main area. Yeah, we're going to grab this Radiant Ergo Chunk on this little scrap heap. Yeah, Radiant Ergo Chunk. Don't fight any of these guys, even if you've got the amulet, which makes you immune to corruption. Don't fight them, guys. It's trying to fight them when that turret's shooting you is a nuisance. I've done it. I have done it before, but it's just a pain in the ass. Yeah, grab that Resplendent Ergo Chunk and then come up here. It's just so much easier to fight them when the turret's disabled. Right, now we're going to come up here, guys, into this sort of little, um, I guess, cliffside settlement, if you will. Yeah, drop down here carefully. Almost, I thought I was dead then. Honestly, thought I was dead. Yeah, be very careful. Yeah, that bridge, the, it's going to break in the middle, so sprint across it quickly. Try not to get trapped in that corner. Yeah, grab this vivid ergo chunk. Come out here and climb the ladder. There's a save point up here. Almost out of the save point. Just make it this far. Yeah, kill this guy, because otherwise he's going to follow you to the Stargazer. And then come in here, guys, and repair it. Unlock the shortcut gate nearby. Yeah, unlock that shortcut gate. And I'm going to jump back down and head into the passage with all the rolling rocks. Yeah, jump down here. I found if you just fall off, sometimes one of the enemies nearby uh, might come and get a chance to attack you before you sort of recover or get out of the way. Just better to jump. Yes, yeah, so come up here. Watch out for all these spinning balls. I think I may have died here. Oh, I might be thinking about my new game, the new game playthrough. I did die twice on new game, I think. Yeah, come up here. Pick up the um, dim ergo chunk carefully come around here. I always stick to the right. If I try to go left straight away, that ball most of the time will catch me before I get a chance to clear out of the way. Yeah, up here. Wait for the ball to roll past. Sprint past. Leave that item. No need to get it. And pick up this resplendent ergo chunk. Then carefully drop down when it's a good time to do so. Yeah, you did see me get an advanced crank then. I think it's because the spinning ball rolled into a butterfly. I don't use it, but yeah, I think that's why I got it. If you're wondering why Advanced Crank just popped up on screen. Right, out here. Kick down the shortcut ladder. Just so if you do die, if you get maybe stun knocked by a baby. Or you fall down this next shaft, this next tower. Yeah, that annoying baby's here. And he doesn't really give you anything important. So, leave him. He's on top of that cliff. There he is. Yeah, I think that's perhaps my most annoying enemy in the game right, maybe I mean I always kill him pretty quick but just try and fight him normally <laughs> yeah I don't think I just have any chance at all I have to cheese that enemy otherwise I can't beat him that enemy do any of this come close um, yeah kill this guy and destroy the turret do any of the enemies come close I, I don't know I mean the the Manchester enemy which we killed in the arcade 
you know, near the prison cells, that can be annoying. Yeah, but I think that baby puppet tops it. So if you want to drop down there, make sure your health is full. If not, climb down the ladder or heal up and then drop down. You can see how much damage it did to me. Um, I just dropped down there for a bit of a shortcut. So we destroy the turret. And we're going to come across here, guys, and um, rest this next stargazer. We're going to talk to Ergo. Uh, sorry, not Ergo, Hugo. Sorry, sorry, I got his name wrong. Talk to the explorer, Ergo, Hugo, on the right here. I don't think this is needed, um, but yeah, I you don't need this vessel either. But I do it just in case. Yeah, exhaust his dialogue, all his dialogue. You get the wanted poster for Ali Doro. Yeah, that one there, and you also get the vessel from him. Yeah, like I say, I don't think I think you can still kill Ali Doro at the end without talking to him. Yeah, you get the old cryptic vessel. I don't use that, but yeah, we've got it if you want it. And then once you've exhausted his Starlock, get everything you need from him. Come and repair the Stargazer. Right, I think what I do next, I think I go and kill the two puppets from the future next. Yeah, now you want to rest at Stargazer and warp to Baron Swamp. Yeah, there's a lot of icons back at the hotel. I'm a popular guy, what can I say? That's a bit like my um, comment section when I wake up in the morning. Yeah, I have to catch up on all my YouTube comments in the morning. It's pretty much what it's like. Just got all these different icons appeared. <laughs> I have to reply to them all. Um, right. So, um, responsibility of having a YouTube channel, you know. I accept it. With great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, so um, before you destroy any of these puppets, make sure any enemies which are aggro to you nearby, get rid of them first. And you can use the electric grindstone. Make sure you've got the amulet equipped as well, which increases damage against puppets. Remember, these guys will do bigger combos. And if you've got the immunity amulet equipped here, perfect. You will not take any damage from the corruption. Yeah, so do big combos. I think it's normally a maximum three. Like, he might try to stamp on you three times. He might do the double stomp three times. So yeah, just be very careful, guys. Yep, yeah, and try not to do too many attacks at once. You do not want to have no no um, stamina to dodge away. Yeah, so we did a combo of two then. Yeah, if you attack behind your Aegis Shield, you'll do less you'll use your less stamina. So that's why I'm using it here. Yeah, if you're wondering why I've got my shield out, yeah, it's just because my attack uses less stamina. When you do get a stagger window active. Yeah, see, that almost killed me. Just from 4 HP, I almost died. And look how much shock damage it did. Just one stomp pretty much inflicted me with shock straight away. And that's a very, a very nasty debuff. Because with that, your stamina, you basically can't attack when you're inflicted with sto uh, shock. Because your stamina gauges will not refill quick enough. And you need your stamina to dodge out of the way. So yeah, when shock is active, you basically can't attack. So the second one next, yeah so we did three stomps then, be very careful, always expect a combo of three guys, always expect a combo of three, you know then you're ready for the worst outcome. You can try, you know, you can try to bait its um, arm attacks if you want, you know you can move in during this attack, uh, attack a few times and move out, bait its arm attacks. Then when he's doing an arm attack, can move in, do a few attacks, then move out again. You know, keep trying to bait his arm attacks. But yeah, it's quite annoying when the camera, you know, with the camera angles as well. Sometimes they can be a bit messy and you can't tell where you are. Yeah, look at that. He did a combo of three, and he's pretty quick then. Pretty quick. Yeah, he's doing how many double stomps? Oh, two. Right, so if I can do a charge of attack, there we go. That should stagger him. 
Oh, I think I was just too late. Did he just recover before I landed the hit? Almost got him. He's almost toast, though. Right, oh, here we go. Got him now. And I think that's it. But yeah, I kind of afraid to attack him because it's in a dodgy place. And that's that's not fair, though, is it? Just because of the um, terrain there, I can't do the fatal attack prompt. Right, you'll get a quartz from him as well. And then what we're going to do, guys, once you killed both of them, we're going to walk back to the Stargazer, and then walk back to, walk to the Baron Swamp Bridge, and we're going to crack straight on with the boss. We'll head to the hotel afterwards. The thing is, you have to talk to Vanini after killing this boss. So rather than go to the hotel now, and then again after the boss, we're just going to go after the boss. It will save a trip. Going to the hotel literally takes about five minutes, doesn't it? Each trip you make, even if you do the minimum, with loading times and the rest of the stargaze and whatnot, it takes about five minutes. So yeah, you're going to walk back here to the Baron Swamp Bridge. This is a carcass enemy. So um, you want the Flame Grindstone and you want the Carcass Amulet. And with this guy, on his second stage, you might want to use throwables. The boss is going forward, they're going to start getting much more health in their second stage. Yeah, you're going to notice it more. You've not noticed it so much, but it's probably because my motivity is only at 30. But you start to notice your attacks will not be doing too much damage to him. So, I think it's here where I started using throwballs a bit more. The Corrupted Prayed Master, he goes down pretty quick. But yeah, this guy, second stage, he's just... And I don't know how to dodge that attack. I think you just got to roll at the, the correct moment, but it just always hits me. It is what it is. Right, so yeah, use your flame grindstone, guys. Hide behind your shield and just start attacking him. He can do long combos, just be careful. Uh, watch out for your fury attacks. Here it comes. Yes, make sure you're ready to block it. Right, yeah, if you get hit, you might almost kill you, so always keep it helpful. Make sure you're ready to block at all times. I should probably lob a shot for here. Oh, I did. Yeah, it's a fatal attack. Right, that's his first stage done. Yes, the second stage, you'll see you, you won't do much damage. If you're a similar level to me with similar stats. And the same weapon. And the same grindstone. And the same amulets. Yeah, look, you don't really, you don't seem to do much damage now. I don't think it's just because it's it's my stats or this guy's just got massive defense. Yeah, but watch your spectre as well. If your spectre's almost dying, use the friendship grindstone guys to um heal him up. Watch your stamina. He can do this guy. He can charge at you, remember. And um, you do not want to get caught out with no stamina. Yeah, I mean, look how slow his health is going down. This is what I mean by you might want to use some throwables here. Yeah, watch out for that. He'll do it a few times, so just be ready. And a few attack will likely come at the end of it. Yeah, so make sure you're ready. Right, I'm going to heal him up. Don't worry, Spectre. I've got you six, mate. There you go. Use the Medipack on him. Right, yep. Yeah, I've gave in. I've assumed to the cheesy tactic of using throwables from a safe distance. And somehow, his fuel attack completely missed me. I was in between his um, antennae. How long has this been going on for now? It's only at half HP. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that's a cluster, cluster grenade. It's not too bad, is it, actually? Right, trying to get the face of the attack. Oh, and I've got it. Right, back to my throwables. You get no rewards for doing this with style guys absolutely no reward at all for making this look stylish so just do anything which which will do the trick right what have I got him almost 
I've still got loads of throwable sled. We got him. <laughs> we got him. Yeah, so it seems more effective to use my throwballs than use my weapon. Maybe it's because he's... You know why? Yeah, you'll get a golden ergo and his, his boss ergo. Right, then we're going to warp to the hotel after that, guys. Yeah, you know why it is? I think he might be resistant to... Um, what type of damage that weapon does? This is slash damage. He might be resistant to slash damage. That might be why. I, I don't know. I don't know. He might be resistant. That's what I was thinking. He might be resistant to it. Uh, but anyway, he's dead now. And we don't have to fight him again. Ever. Unless you're doing a third playthrough. So yeah, once you get back to the hotel. No. Come and talk to Vanini. It can. Are you hurt yep, there's going to be a critical choice oh, no. coming up, guys. See, with Eugenie, not Vanini, Eugenie. But yeah, talk to Vanini. You'll give him the golden lead acid battery, or he'll give that to you. Once you give him the golden ergo, he'll give you the golden lead acid battery. So yeah, talk to Eugenie. Exhaust his dialogue if you want to play it safe. Hey, talk to Eugenie okay. next. Sorry, am I getting Vanini and Eugenie mixed up? Sorry. Yeah, talk to Eugenie next. Tell her that he was happy. Very important, guys. Tell her. The Alidoro was very, very happy. Yeah, you'll get that message. The Ergo is whispering. you get a fire abrasive. And once you've done so, obviously, go into training area if you haven't already. And refill your fable. Then come to the courtyard and talk to Polandina. Yep, critical choice again, guys. For this one, you want to choose I have. Very important. Critical choice. Imminent. Choose I have. You'll get the humanity and you'll get the message the ergo is whispering. You'll get a Gemini's iron protection. And then talk to him. Choose to add shop goods and hand over a crap supply box. Then after that, add shop goods again. And hand over a sturdy crap supply box. You'll get a vivid ergo fragment times two. And then buy the quartz from him. Yeah, buy him the quartz. When it comes to this inventory, it doesn't depend on what box you give him. It depends on how many you've given him. So if you give him the sturdy first or the crap supply box first, he will always have his first expansion. Then you give him the second box and he'll have his second expansion. So yeah, it's not related to what type of box, it's how many you give him. That's why I have to get every box and give him every single one to get the two quartz which he eventually sells. So yeah, harvest your gold coin fruits and then head into to Geppetto's stream, guys. Now it should have four quartz. So we're gonna go into phase five, increase cube uses two. Yeah, phase five. Right, we're gonna buy attack type, enhances attack when HP is at maximum. Enhances attack when HP is at maximum. Um, survival type, perfect guard, guard regain recovery. I know, what a weird name. Perfect guard, guard regain recovery. Yep, yeah, I've put a little comma there on my text guide. Um, ability type, because it looks like I've made a typo. Yeah, ability type, um, lower stamina consumption when discharged. That's very good ability when you're discharged, but we never really get to that point. And item type, increase consumable effect duration too. So with both the consumable effect durations now active, our abrasives will last for twice as long, as well as your... Um, attribute potions and your special potions they'll last for twice as long as well so now we're going to go to stargazer we're going to level up advance to 12 you'll need 96,002 to do that and you might wonder why am i leveling up advance when we've got a motivity build based weapon well nice for you to ask actually i'll very kindly answer that question for you it's because it affects the damage of your throwables yeah, it's about, at about advanced 30 from where it was originally with this build. Your, your throwables, when they land, you're going to be doing almost double the damage. So yeah, it really helps. I know a lot of Souls games, it's not really a good idea to be sort of jack of all trades, if you will. But I think it really helps in this game. Because a lot of your stats, they, they sort of lock, you know, soft lock or hard lock quite early. So it just really helps getting most of your stats to 30 at least. And then just your key stats, level them a bit more. You know, like capacity or your key stat, like motivity, level that. 
I mean, even technique, I don't level that up, but if you level up technique, your cluster, cluster grenades will do more damage because they scale of technique. Um, but yeah, you want to come in here next, guys, and head up to this next Stargazer, and you're going to rest. I'm just got to pause a minute. Just, I have to do what I have to do after sort of every 30 minutes or so. I have to pause the video, save it. You know, I do not want to record a full two hours commentary and then for it to bloody crash when I stop recording. It's been known to happen, trust me. And I, I suspect it's a creator's worst nightmare. Phew, it worked, guys. I saved it without crashing. I tell you, it's happened a lot of times. I've, I've edited like a three or two hour long video and I've gone to save it and it's bloody crashed. I've lost all that, all that time. And wow, well, yeah, it's very, very annoying. I mean, you do have to sort of, sort of learn your lesson the hard way sometimes. Sometimes you don't, you, you know, you don't know until it's happened. You know, but sometimes you're just like, oh, it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna crash this time. And then it bloody will. So yeah, down here guys, gonna come to the far back. We're gonna jump off near the chest and loot it for quads. I always jump off near here, you know, because then you're behind the enemies and you get a chance to loot the chest and get away before you get too close to any real damage. Yeah, grab the Radiant Ergo Chunk on the way past and climb this ladder. Yeah, there's there's been a few videos in the past, guys, where um, it's been a long video. Postman. Yeah, it's been a long video. Yeah, you want to come up here, drop down this train, uh, go into this train, quickly go out the back. Now, be quick here, or you might get stun knocked. But at the end, roll into the enemy to knock him back. Roll into a mass hit, just push him out of the way. Give him a little bit of a nudge. And so you can get past. Up here. Unlock this shortcut gate. Turn around. Do you remember that scorpion I had a big nightmare with in New Game? Yeah, I'm just going to run straight past him here. Yeah, grab that vivid ergo chunk. You know what? I wish... You get plus one amulets, but I, I wish you got a plus one for the um, different enemy type amulets as well. You know, like a plus one, for example, murderous amulet, a plus one for the more damage against carcasses. I wish you got a plus one for them. Yeah, grab that Radiant Ergo Chunk. Come to back here, guys, and grab that Vivid Ergo Crystal. Yep, then make your way back up. We're going to go past the Scorpion, climb a ladder, and then unlock the Shortcut Gate back to Stargazer. Yeah, there's been times in the past where I've, you've probably seen my long videos sometimes where I just give you like an intro and um, then I, I sort of leave you to it for the rest of the gameplay. But some of the videos, I've actually been recording commentary for the whole thing, but it's crashed on me and I just wasn't prepared to record it all again, so I just gave an intro. Yeah, that's probably happened once or twice. Yeah, unlock the shortcut gate. That's it, got a shortcut now, back to Stargazer. We're going to come down here. We're going to come in this doorway. We're going to grab this um, Radiant Ergo Chunk. Now, Robber... What's his name? Robber something? Robber Creek, whatever his name is. Oh, Robber Weasel, that's it. Yeah, so just run straight past the Weasel. And you won't have to fight him. He'll follow you up here. But the carcasses should aggro him and he'll stop chasing you. And they'll start fighting each other. They won't kill him. I've I've actually lured him up here before. Just see how much damage the carcasses can do. It's not much. But yeah, just carry on down here. I'm basically going to make a way to Stargazer. If you want to go to Trinity Sanctum, you can. It's up to you. There's nothing of great importance in there. I think you get an amulet, which you already have. But you also get a full moonstone of the Covenant. But yeah, I'm going to leave it. So you activate a Stargazer. You might have some enemies following you. But once you've repaired it, you can just run past them. Yep, yeah, and you want to come out here. Make sure you've got a Flame Grindstone equipped, by the way. You're going to need it for a tough carcass enemy in a second. Yeah, grab the Resplendent Ergo Chunk. Come over here. Grab the Vivid Ergo Chunk. Yeah, sorry I'm talking about just random rubbish sometimes. I'm just trying to keep the, um, you know, the chatter going. Yeah, I'm going to kill these enemies because if not, they'll probably follow you down to this next big guy. 
and you do not want to be fighting three enemies at once because this guy can hit very hard and his combos can be a bit annoying yeah so um you want to use flame grindstone before you approach and make sure your um weapons fully repaired and your hp is full remember when your hp is at maximum and your durability you do more damage yep and then just usual stuff guys block and attack now when he does a fury attack he'll he'll follow it with a combo yeah which is quite unusual normally when they do a fury attack you've got a window to attack not this guy he do a fury attack and then follow it up with a combo so just be very careful so yeah whenever he does a fury block be ready to block straight after right repair the stargazer where are we? Chapter 9. We're getting there, guys. Getting there. Chapter 9. 2 hours 40 into the video. Well, about 1 hour 30 left. Oh, not too bad. Almost there. Right, come up here. Talk to the wandering merchant. Yep, now you're going to buy all the cluster, cluster grenades, all the shot puts, all the car cast body fluid bottles, and all the acid abrasives. Yep, and you also want to buy the golden record, Memory of Beach. Yep, so buy that guys, Memory of Beach, golden record. Obviously that's very important for the all records trophy. Right, so um, we're going on to Collapse Street now. You remember we've got them crystals which do disruption damage. So yeah, make sure you equip some defense parts which increase your resistance to disruption. Yeah, you might also want to have um, the potion equipped so you can cure disruption. So if it gets a little bit too high, you can just use it and um, cure it instantly. Right, I think I am good to go. Yep, open the door and enter the collapsed tree. Yeah, so watch out for these bloody crystals. Whoa. This used to be the workshop's transportation base close to Krat Central Station. Yeah, even with um I mean, because we're on New Game Plus your disruption will still build up pretty quick. Yeah, so I'm gonna destroy them crystals just to build up my um, charge attack. I'm gonna save your fable slots for this tough enemy coming up guys so you can use absolute defense when you need to see so, yeah, I'm gonna kill that enemy come along here now there's a chest here which is only here in new game plus but it's a bit tricky so we're gonna first make our way along here we're gonna unlock this shortcut gate Right, once you unlock the shortcut gate. You want to turn around and kill these two enemies. You, want, you can use one flame grindstone, but save the other one. Yeah, so save the other grindstone for the tough enemy coming up. But yeah, kill these two. Just use your shield. And come over here afterwards guys and loot this chest make sure you destroy this crystal yeah because otherwise when you try and loot this you're just going to get stun locked and that disruption crystal is likely going to inflict disruption but yeah that's strength amulet plus one so when you equip that one and um, you'll get motivity plus six i believe Right, what, before you drop into this hole guys, make sure you got your ability at maximum, um, your health is full. Use the flame grindstone, make sure you got full legion and then drop inside. And then pull out your shield guys and start attacking him. Yeah, be very careful with him. This guy's relentless, he'll just keep attacking you. So yeah, just be very, very careful. Yep, yeah, don't drop your guard down unless you've got a good distance between you and him. Yeah, but once you killed him, he'll drop a plus one defense part 
and the path forward will reveal, will open. Grab the vivid ergo chunk just outside. Um, grab this radiant ergo chunk around the corner and then rest at the stargazer. Okay, so we're going to switch now. We're going to put the acid grindstone on, guys. Yeah, acid grindstone, and so you want to defend um, the amulet, which increases defense against humans. Then come in here, attack this guy from behind to knock him down. Do a charge attack, that should stagger him. And then do a fatal attack or a charge attack, and that should knock him out. And they're going to kill this guy, come down the steps with the guns. You don't, the reason you have to kill them two guys, I was going to say, you don't, you could run past them, but the guy with the guns is likely going to stun you, and then it'll give a chance for the other guy to catch up, and you're just going to get caught into trouble. So best just to just kill them two. Once them two are dead, you can sprint upstairs, pass all the rest, up to the top here, once you get outside, drop down carefully onto this ledge below, loot this chest, Yep, for special crap supply box. Then climb this ladder and then drop back down to the rooftop where we were. Then make your way across and activate a shortcut ladder. Right, once you activate the shortcut ladder, we're going to climb this ladder, guys, and get ready. It's the Walker of Illusions fight. I think it's a human. I think it's human. That's why I go for acid. And he does slash damage. So before you start the fight, make sure your weapon's repaired, your HP's full, your Legion is full. He does disruption damage to you, by the way. And so your immunity ain't going to work here. So you want any defense parts which increase about against disruption, which we should already have. He does slash damage. So defend yourself against slash and um, I just lobbed on my amulet there which increases my strength, my emotivity. Right, so um, use your acid grindstone guys and just do the normal stuff, block and attack. Yep, block and attack. He's not too bad with this build, you know this guy. He goes down quick enough. Yeah, so when he splits into two, go for his illusion first. You know it's Illusion because it'll be the one attacking you. And I think it's darker, isn't it? So Illusion's got like a darker cloak on. Yep, and then back onto the main boss. If it starts to scream, get away because he's going to do a massive disruption attack. Yeah, this attack here. No, no. Oh, I staggered him, did I? I think it's about to do it, but I staggered him before. But yeah, watch out for scream so it'll do massive disruption damage. And got him, guys. Yeah, he goes down pretty quick for that build, doesn't he? I think with the... Um, our new game build it can it can go a bit too wrong in that one because if you miss for your puppet string or you get caught into a combo yeah it can get messy but that way you just keep blocking and attacking quite easy but yeah once you killed it come near guys use the elevator the hotel is under attack. right it'll bring you down here now at this point you can't warp anywhere so yeah whatever you've got on you you're stuck you can't warp anywhere until you beat this boss and get back to the hotel. So up here, use the Stargazer. And um, this boss coming up, guys, is a carcass. It's the Corrupted Parade Master. So yeah, lob on your uh, Flame Grindstone. Lob on your Carcass Amulet. You also want to put on your Immunity Amulet back on because it will do decay damage. And it will inflict decay on you. So yeah, lob on your de your um, immunity amulet the piercing hatred right i think he does strike damage so you can try to defend yourself against strike and once you're ready we're going to go and make a telephone call yeah public telephone is ringing and we're going to go and answer it why did I go back? 
Oh, I level up, do I? Okay, oh yeah. Advance 15, guys. You want 48,000 and 12 ergo for this. 48,000 and 12. Right, so yeah, come down this path next. Take a left and you'll notice the public telephone is ringing. Yep, it's Simon Gruber. Yeah, you want to pick Ergo? Yeah, very important. Pick Ergo, guys. Yep. That's Simon Gruber. If he does not say Simon says, then don't listen. Yeah, the Ergo was whispering. You should get that message. And you'll get a Trinity key. Right, make your way back to Stargazer, guys. Go up the steps behind it. And make your way to Corrupted Parade Master. This guy goes down pretty quick. Um, did I have to resume? I think I resumed to, um, res well, resorted to use some throwables here. Yeah, grab that resplendent ergo chunk and then head over the top. There's no transition here, just kick straight off into the boss fight. So um, you can use your flame grindstone as you enter. Then sprint up to him, block, and start attacking. Yeah, I think I had to resort to um, using throwables because it got quite close and I was a bit worried. Yeah, we do do quite a bit of damage here, look. Yeah, look how much damage I'm doing. I'm pretty sure the second stage, that um, Baron Swan boss, he, he must be resistant to slash damage. That must be why I was just doing so little damage to him. If I ever play this game again, maybe I'll have to give it a go. You know, Baron Swan boss, try hitting him with stab damage. Yeah, if this boss grabs you, it will almost kill you. So make sure your health is always full. I think I get grabbed like two or three times. Come on, almost got him. Oh yeah, okay, so I finish him off with a fatal attack. Yeah, when it comes to fatal attacks, um, it doesn't really matter until we get to the big giant boss in chapter 11. But you'll see, when I've got my HP at full and my durability is full, and I use a grindstone, yeah, I've got a quartz and a full moonstone from him, you'll do crazy damage. So yeah, when it comes to fatal attacks, if you want to do as much damage as possible, make sure your HP is at maximum, your durability is at maximum, because remember, you'll get an attack, increase in attack from the... P organ abilities so yeah but I'll mention that again when I get there yeah but it it just helps a lot on the door guardian just because your fatal attack does massive damage to him already so just the um, the bonus from them it adds up to crazy damage because normally it'd be like three or four fatal attacks but if you, if you use your um, abilities to maximum effect, you can kill him in two fatal attacks. Pretty sweet. Yeah, so once back in the hotel, up to Gepetto's room, there'll be a big X on the door. We're going to have a knock. The secret knock is normally knock, 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 knock. Yeah, that's a secret knock. Then they'll know you're not a puppet, you're a human. Right, enter. Come and talk to Antonio. She's the only one you need to chat to, Antonio. She'll give you a gesture, which we already have. Yep, the anger gesture. Right, after talking to her, head back down the bottom. Yeah, we're going to talk to Polandina. Add shop goods and the special crap supply box. Um, you'll get a vivid ergo fragment and we're going to buy quartz times one from him. Yeah, quartz times one. Yeah, we're also going to buy the rusty cryptic vessel, guys. Very important. The rusty cryptic vessel. That leads you to the hermit's cave, which has two quartz inside. Right, and then we're going to come into train area, refill our fable slots, and then we're going to talk to um, Vanini. Exorcist dialogue. Yeah, talk to Vanini, exorcist dialogue, and decipher. The rusty cryptic vessel. Yeah, decipher the rusty cryptic vessel. Then talk to Eugenie and exhaust her dialogue. Very important. If you miss some of her dialogue, which is related, um, you know, to the Alidora quest line, you might mess it up. 
So yeah, exhaust her dialogue. I, sh I just want safety for everyone at the hotel. That's why I should. You're here. There you go. Just until you can sort of get to an option window. That's it. Then come and rest at Stargazer. You're gonna level up. You're gonna advance, advance to twenty. That should cost you 80,036 ergo. Yeah, then once you've done so, we're going to warp to the Baron Swamp Bridge. That coffee has gone right through me. I'm going to stop for a toilet break in a second. What are we on, guys? Um, 2 hours 55. Almost there. 1 hour 20 minutes gone. Yeah, I very, I very almost just did an intro commentary for this and left the gameplay how it was. Yeah, so advance, advance to 20. 80,000 ergo and 36. Okay, so we're going to warp to the Baron Swamp Bridge. I'm going to head into the Hermit's Cave. You don't need to kill the carcass enemy at the end. You can just run straight past him and quickly loot the safe and then walk back to the hotel before he gets a chance to get close and attack you from behind. Yeah, so this cave is now open. Now that we've deciphered the rusty cryptic vessel with Fanini, come through here, watch out for that trap. I used to all I've always run into that just luckily this time when I was recording I remembered <laughs> yeah this is the only time I've remembered and not run into that trap right drop down um, all the way down here run past the enemy drop down here turn around and I'm gonna grab this item because that is a um, radiant ergo chunk run back on yourself now when you go left here just trigger the trap and then wait yeah this trap here the trip wire that's it, wait for the trap three times. That's it, run down, quickly drop down here, kill the two enemies. Be very quick because there's going to be a strong enemy making his way around to you, possibly. He might not, but yeah, quickly kill them two. And loot the chest for a quartz. And then you might want to climb this ladder. Because if that strong enemy is chasing you, you can climb the ladder, run over here and drop down behind him. But he didn't notice me, so he's still here. But you want to climb this ladder. Yeah, normally that enemy will see you loot in that chest and they'll run around to you. Then you can drop down there and you avoid them altogether. But yeah, climb that ladder anyway and um, drop down and repair the stargazer. Once you repaired it, you can drop off here and then quickly run around here. I died here, by the way, dropping down. I, I missed a plank and fell to my death. Yeah, around here. <laughs> Grab your ergo and then carefully drop down here. If you want to, you don't have to do this. It just skips the section. Yeah, drop down there. Turn around. Come in this cave. The cave within the cave. Yeah, now there'll be a strong enemy inside here. Like I say, run straight past him. Run straight past him. That's it. Up these steps. Loot the safe at the back quickly for um, the black cats hunting a power again. And the quartz. And then you shift stopwatch and walk back to the hotel. That's it, guys. Use your grandfather watch and walk back to the hotel. So back at the hotel, we're going to head to the gold coin tree. We're going to harvest gold coin fruit. And I'm also going to buy some friendship wish stones now. Yeah, I'm going to buy 12. If you don't have, you know, if you don't have enough gold coin fruit, just buy what you can. I don't, I don't think I use all of these. Um, it's just nice to have some extras in stock, just in case. Ah, uh, yeah. So, um, just a great big yawn. Yeah, come in here, grab your gold coin fruits, and then go and talk to Giangio. Like I say, buy twelve friendship <gasps> wish stones if you have enough. If not, Stalker. just leave it. We do need two gold coin fruits for chapter 11, remember? You'll need two gold coin fruits for chapter 11. But if you just stand still here, you can just let the, the tree grow them. But yeah, buy 12 if you can, guys. That'll cost 24. 12 friendship wish stones. You're going to be mega popular after using all them. 
yeah, coming in next and um, over to Jepato's room. So we've got five quads at this point. Should have five. Um, I think I actually it got to, it gets to a point in this video, guys. In this, yeah, I stop using quads just because most abilities aren't that great, and um, yeah, I stop buying them. Save them for perfect for um, uh, new game plus plus phase seven. If you wanted to go into a third playthrough, yeah, so perfect guard core stiffness. You're gonna buy attack type increase stagger duration one, item type reduce item prices one. Um, survival type lower damage while dodging one. Yeah, reduce item type that reduces cost, guys, by 10 cents. And then increase stagger ball window back in phase one. You want to buy attack type increase stagger duration two. And survival type lower damage while dodging two. Could just give you a bit more defense, guys, if you get attacked while dodging out of the way. It's likely, I've not really calculated that or worked out. I think it's, it's probably gonna be like a 10% increase in defense while getting attacked while dodging. Right, once you've done so guys, drop down, go to piano. Oh, we'll get, oh we're going to chapter 10, getting there. Yeah, play a certain scale. Right, and then head down to secret passage guys. I was gonna leave it playing for a minute. I'm just gonna go back to ladies room. Hey, sorry guys, I'm back. Yeah, okay, so we're in chapter 10. Wow, this name. The Relic of Trismus Gistus Entrance. What the heck? Yeah, so you want to make sure you've got the Acid Grindstone equipped because the boss is humans. Um, and in this chest is the Hunter's Amulet, guys, plus one. This is a new game plus only chest. Yep, yeah, Hunter's Amulet plus one. Hunter's Amulet increases your Ergo gain. So yeah, with that, you can use that to farm enemies. Hunter's Amulet plus one. Unfortunately, you can only have one equipped at a time. One of them, you know, the same type. Along the Noblus weapon. And um, yeah, you get more Ergo. So yeah, sprint straight past that puppet. Down here until this telephone that's ringing. You're going to answer it. And yeah, critical choice here, guys. You want to choose no. Yep, no. Yep, you'll get King of Riddles surprise box, and then um, you'll get the Ergo is Whispering Humanity message. We're going to open the box, use it for a little surprise, a decay surprise. Right, and um, we're going to face the box, the boss next, but I want to grab this Ergo crystal. Uh, what's it called again? The Ergo crystal of the Eternal. Yeah, so this um, this Ergo consumable, it gives you 25,000. So yeah, just for picking this up, you're going to get 25k. Yeah, so over here, you want to kill the enemies on your way over. It's much easier because there's a trap and you might get caught if you're unlucky. Yeah, that guy will charge at you when you go to pick up. Yeah, little booby trap there. You'll go pick up the item and it'll charge at you from behind and stick a fork in your ass. Yeah, basically one will penetrate you in the middle and the other two will go into your ass cheeks. It's not a fun experience. Yeah, pick that one up, guys. The Ergo Crystal of eternal gives you 25,000 ergo when you use it only two of them are new game plus i don't know about new game plus plus i've not really rooted that but yeah new game plus there's two of them 
the other one is in the final area just before the final boss right so um summon your spectre get ready for the boss fight yep i died here once so i'm going to use my acid grindstone so these first three i'm just going to kill all these with my weapon hide behind the shields and use my weapon and when the big guy drops in at the end i'm going to use throw balls on him so yeah remember when there's only one remaining the third the big boss will drop in the the big brother pretty much or the big sister i like to call him so yeah the final two try to kill them both almost at the same time so knock one of them knock yourself down to low and then move on to the other and knock his health down though. Oh, I've killed one. Quickly kill the other one before the big sister jumps in. Oh, yeah. Good. Then you've got to fight her by herself. Here she is. So, yeah, like I say, I use throw balls on her. Yeah, watch out for attacks. Always try to stay behind obstacle calls if you can. Yeah, keep an obstacle nearby always. Because when he does this massive... Sorry, her, I mean he or her. Yeah, when she does a massive combo, it can be tricky to avoid it. Especially if your stamina is low. Yeah, and just a lot of damage if you get caught like so. Why am I attacking him? I thought I was going to use throwables. Okay, so if you want if you want to do it this way, do it this way. Or just use throwables, guys. Okay, okay, I guess I did just stick to my Age of Shields and my melee attacks. But yeah, you might you might want to use some throw balls on that. It'll make it a bit simpler. Use your weapon on the first part and then your throw balls on the guy at the end. Yeah, you get quads for beating them. Yeah, the um black rabbit sisterhood. Yeah, once you beat them all. Carrying along here now. If you don't have enough humanity, and if you have not followed the quest line properly, you will not have the option to attack him. So, I hope you have followed me correctly, guys. So, talk to Alidoro. Choose to attack. Yeah, choose to attack him. That option will only appear, like I say, if you follow the quest line with him and Eugenie, and if you um got high enough humanity. So, yeah, choose to attack Alidoro. That limitation makes it seem like your creator didn't trust you very much. Sir. What will it be? Leave quietly. Yep, choose attack again. That's it. And then finish him. Yeah, do a babality or whatever. Yeah, a puppetality. Yeah, you'll get that trophy. Um, Not the trophy, guys. You'll get the message. The Ergo is whispering. And you'll get Ali Doro's cryptic vessel, which is very, very important. Ali Doro's cryptic vessel. Loot the chest beside him for the great Vanini collection. The greatest amongst collectors. Yeah, that's worth a ton at uh, auction for antiques. Yeah, they're going to carry on, pull the lever, guys, to activate the submarine and make way to the final area. Let me stop and make a save, actually. <laughs> yeah, let me just save this footage. Wow, almost done, guys. Last hour. I hope I get a trophy for this. A, tro a, gold co um, a gold trophy for recording four hours of commentary continuously. Yeah, I need that trophy. So yeah, Paul Eva, you're going to the final area, chapter 11. The Desert of Snow. Yeah, the Snow Desert. Okay, so um, we're going to talk to Sophia. We're going to level up advanced to 25 to begin with. You'll want 80,056 ergo. Yeah, you might notice your ergo, your increase in ergo for each level. It doesn't really increase that much now. I think it's only like... From like level 125 to 126 for example is only like an extra few ergo and then to 27 will be an extra few so yeah so yeah guys like I say advance 25 now um, yeah advance 25 will be 80,056 right and then as we make our way along the desert yeah, look at that, 25,000. Oh, awesome. Yeah, you, when you make your way along the desert, you're going to talk to all five mirages, all five of the um, sort of memories, because each one will give you a chunk. The first mirage will give you a resplendent ergo chunk.
The second one will give you another Resplendent Ergo. The third Mirage will give you a Dim Ergo Crystal. The fourth one will give you a Dim Ergo Crystal. And the fifth Mirage will give you Humanity, the um, orange one at the end. And that will be the Ergo is Whispering. And then once you've spunk to, uh, spunk, <laughs> spunk, once you've spoken to, spunken to, yeah, once you've spunken to all five Mirages, um, activate the Stargazer and walk back to the hotel. Right, let me just um, catch up guys on some comments while you are doing that. Yeah, I keep I keep checking these some Lords of the Fallen threads on PSN profiles. Just see the progress people are having with them um, trophies. I don't think anybody's got the full trophies yet. And when I look on Steam, they're releasing patches so frequently. Yeah, there's been like there's been almost a patch every day since release on Lords of the Fallen. It must have released in a pretty, I mean, I've not played it, but it must have released in a pretty bad state to get a patch almost every day since release. Crazy. It's good that, you know, it's good that they're um, obviously hard at work on it and they listen to us. But yeah, a patch every day since release. Yeah, so rest at Stargazer, guys, and walk back to the hotel. Yeah, let's see what the latest is on Lords of the Fallen. Um, on on Steam. See if there's been any more. Re see if there's been an update since yesterday. Okay, guys. So um, yeah. Once you're back at the hotel, um, so let's see. Yeah, go and talk to Vanini now. Critical choice is imminent here, guys. Critical choice coming up. Tell him I couldn't hear. Yeah, tell him I couldn't hear. Now, if you did not have this dialogue with him yet, it might be because your humanity isn't high enough. Maybe you did one of the choices differently to me for whatever reason. If not, then you should get this dialogue with him later on. Don't worry, you just got to come back. But we're not doing this now anyway. This just leads to his trophy, but we're not doing it anyway because we've already got his trophy. But I need to talk to him to decipher. Um, Ali Dore's cryptic vessel. But yeah, if you do have this dialogue right now, choose I couldn't hear. Choose I couldn't hear. That give you humanity. You'll get the Ergo is whispering message. Um, talk to him again. And you want to decipher Ali Dore's cryptic vessel. And it's very important you talk to Vanini before talking to Eugenie. So yeah, on this visit back to the hotel after killing Ali Doro and getting his vessel. It's very important you talk to Vanini um, Vanini first, decipher Alidoro's cryptic vessel, read it so you, you understand the text inside it, and once you read it, then when you talk to Eugenie, you have different dialogue options. So yeah. Read Alidoro's cryptic vessel after Vanini decrypts it for you. Yet yeah, you'll find out that um, Eugenie is his sister. Or I guess real Alidoro anyway. Yeah, then come and talk to Eugenie. Critical choice imminent guys, this one very important, it leads to a record and a trophy. Uh, the record we don't have this one yet. Because Eugenie's quest leads to two. Basically one, each dialogue option gives you a different one. So you want to choose, he was Eugenie's older brother. Yeah, very important. He was Eugenie's older brother. That's it, you'll get the record, proposal, flower, wolf part one. And you'll also get a trophy guys, the story of a stranger gill. Yep, yeah, talk to her again afterwards. Um, just to finish it though, you have to go and rest at the Stargazer first. So after that dialogue, and you told her that he was Eugene, um, sorry, Eugenie's older brother, rest at Stargazer to reset the area, then go back and talk with her again, guys. That's it, that'll finish the dialogue. And like I say, you'll get the record, proposal, flower, wolf part one. And the trophy, the story of a stranger gill. Yeah, there you go. You'll feel warm. You'll get a trophy and you'll get a record. Proposal, flower, wolf part one. Story of a stranger gill. Yeah, find out about the story of Eugenie. 
Right, another one in there. I think that's all the um, NPC trophies. I think we've got them all now, guys. You may not be aware yep, go back and talk to Vanini afterwards. Basically, when we rested at the um, Stargazer, after getting that dialogue about the um, Geppetto's message about him, and we said we couldn't hear, you go talk to him again after resting, and you'll get the King of Puppets message from him. So yeah, go and talk with him, and get the King of Puppets message. And then rest at Stargazer, guys, and read it at the bottom. Yeah, go to bottom option and listen to the King of Puppets message. You'll get humanity and you'll feel warm. And they're going to walk back to the Black Seaside guys. Ready to go and take on the Door Guardian. So yeah, make sure you've got the Acid Flamestone. Uh, fl flamestone? The Acid Grindstone equipped, ready. And obviously the Amulet which increases damage against humans. He does shock damage, so your, um, your immunity... I mean, it ain't really going to help. He does shock damage. So, um, you probably want to... I forget. I actually forget to equip it here. But increase your defense in case you get attacked. You might want to equip the Iron Wall Amulet, guys. Just increase your physical damage a bit. Yeah, the Iron Wall Amulet. Yep, yeah, and I think he does strike damage as well. So, you want to increase defense against strike and obviously against shock. And like I say, you might want to have the Iron Wall Amulet replaced. Replacing the Immunity Amulet. Yep, he'll drop 30,000 and the high level alchemist badge. Yeah, so I'm just going to sprint past all these enemies. There's no need to kill them, guys. Going to sprint past all of them. Yeah, wow. When did the when did Lords of Fallen release? It released on 13th, right? There's a patch according to Steam, Steam um, news log. There's a patch on the 14th, on the 15th, on the 16th, on the 17th. Wow. Bloody hell. There's a patch. Oh, there's a patch last night. There's a patch very early this morning. So the 18th. Been a patch every day. What's it released in that bad of a state? Anyway, yeah, it looks like they have, they have fixed the, um, where is it, where's it say? Oh yeah, balancing. Balancing adjustments have been made for New Game Plus bosses and regions. No, 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 that's the wrong one. Oh, that's, oh, that's new patch, I've not read that one yet. There's, there's something where they've, they've adjusted the, um, the prices of the social shrines, basically. Yeah, sorry guys, so back onto the game. Yeah, so the giant, you need to keep attacking his feet. You want to get used to dodging his attacks. They're, I find this quite easy to do, dodge, and it'll just simplify a fight if you learn to dodge his attacks. And once you knock him down, save your acid grindstone for when you knock him down. And when you knock him down, use your acid grindstone, repair your weapon, make sure your health is full, and they do a fatal attack, and look how much damage that will do. Does massive damage and it will also inflict, inflict acids. Always stay close to him, guys, otherwise, he might do long range attacks and they're a bit tricky to dodge. So, yeah, just stay close always. Yeah, careful you don't get hit. You might want to keep out your shield so when you are attacking, attack behind your shield, you, you'll use less stamina and if you do get attacked by mistake, you'll take less damage because it hits your shield. Yeah, like I say, when you knock him down, you see Acid Grindstone, repair your weapon quickly, with your HP, so you get your bonuses for max, max HP and max durability, and then do a fatal attack, and you'll do massive damage. As you, did I do? I think I did 12,000 damage with that fatal attack. And then one more fatal attack, and he should be dead, guys. Yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to read up on this um, on these patch notes. I can't believe they've already released another update today. It was, I think it was yesterday's update. They changed them in... Oh yeah, interact with that Stargazer, guys. 
Oh, here we go. No, no, it's not the wrong one. Oh yeah, I've got it, guys. Yeah, so um, there's been a lot of, I mean, a lot of people complaining. I mean, they're complaining about a lot of things in Order of the Fallen. But there's one particular aspect in terms of trophies where um, you have to get this armor from these shrines, and these shrines take a lot of grinding, and they actually take like, they take like a community effort to level the shrines up, um, to unlock the armor pieces. So you can't really do it by yourself. Oh, you want to beat the door guardian, guys? You want to level up advanced to 28. It's going to cost 48,000 and 43 ergo. Yeah, so advanced to 28, guys. 48,000 and 43 ergo. Yeah, but they've adjusted it slightly. All it says in the in their patch notes is the social shrine goals are being adjusted based on player progression and forecasts. Whatever that means. And what I mean about social shrine goals, there's these shrines in Lords of Fallen where um, it, it requires donations from the community as a whole. You get these items in there, I can't remember the name now, but you donate them at these shrines and you need like 60 million to unlock the sort of next tier of armor from that shrine. Um, so it's like a massive community effort. But apparently, they've reduced the donation, I guess it sounds like. So instead of 60 million, it's probably something less. I don't know, that's what I'm taking it from it. I, I guess we'll see, like I say, we're still, everyone's still trying to figure out the exact trophy requirements. Um, but anyway, guys, up here, and step on this stone, use the badge, and that'll reveal the bridge. I leveled up before, because if you die here, you might die, because you can get, if you don't kill them enemies, they can sort of trap you like so. Once you get control back, um, but if you're lucky, you can get out of the way of danger quickly and then make your way back down to the bridge. But if not, if you did die, you probably only lost a small amount of ergo and you can just ignore it. Come straight to this bridge, start making your way up the um, temple. So that's basically what it is, isn't it? A massive temple. Yeah, climb this ladder. Right, climb this second ladder. Now you want to wait here, let that guy come to you and kill him. That's it, don't go out in the open or you're going to get hit by a turret and probably knock us off the bridge. Yeah, let him come to you guys, block him and just attack. There you go, easy. Right, walk onto the bridge and once you hear the turret fire, bang, roll out of the way. That's it, once you hear the turret fire, roll out of the way. Don't run because you likely won't get out of the way in time. Yeah, that's what I normally do. Walk forward and once you hear the turret fire, roll and you can quickly run past, climb the ladder and then come up here. I'm not collecting anything. I didn't even do that shortcut back to Stargazer. You might have wanted to unlock that shortcut. It's up to you. Basically, after climbing that third ladder, you turn left, and the shortcut ladder is at the end. Yeah, I'm not fighting these two. That amulet is exactly the same one as in the new game. You already have it. I think it's the veteran's amulet. It's in that chest. Yeah, sprint past these scorpions, and up this ladder at the back in the corner. Yeah, that bit can get pretty hectic if you try to fight them both. Yeah, good luck trying to fight them both at the same time. I think when I did fight them um, in my routing, I just sort of lord... I fight one at a time by staying near the steps which lead up to that part and luring one away, killing him and then killing the other one. But yeah, come ladder guys and rest of the Stargazer. Now you've got the enemies up here which do disruption damage. So um, yeah, if you're worried and you're not too confident about evading these enemies, then, um, or maybe you just want to play it safe. Yeah, make sure you've got defense parts equipped. Now, that's decay damage, that's decay cloud. As long as you've got the immunity and it equipped, it won't damage you. Now, that enemy there, if he's looking at you and about to run at you as you approach the ladder, do not climb it yet. Run around him, bait his attack, and when he finishes his hug attack and he misses you, yeah, this is the only time I refuse hugs from them enemies. Normally, I'm, you know, quite open to hooks, but not here. Yeah, and then climb the ladder. Once you get to the top, like I say, if you haven't already, equip disruption parts. Because you've got them annoying, um, they're like, oh, what, what are the enemies in Dark Souls? What are they called? The, um, frog-like enemies. And they, they, um, cause that debuff on you. They're like them, aren't they? Pretty much like, um, a copy of them. 
Yeah, pick up the resplendent ergo crystal or not. Or you might want to leave it. I only went in there, guys, for that crystal. Because it gives, I think they give you like 7,000. Yeah, the resplendent ergo crystal. Then quickly get out. Come up here. Yeah, jump power, uh, roll. You can, remember, if you roll into these guys once, it will normally knock them back. So try to get past one side. If you don't have enough space, roll. Yeah, in here, quickly go left through there. And then stick to the right, and hopefully you'll avoid that guy's gunfire. Or he might just get you from behind. But carry on running. Carefully run past this guy. You might want to run close to him to bait a close range attack. And run away from him. And then out this doorway. Yeah, I tried to run directly away just to try and create a big enough gap between us as quick as possible. You know, to evade this attack he might be doing. Careful here. Yeah, wait for them to come out before you run past. Again, watch out for the trap. Run past, up to the top, and step on the plate to activate the bridge. Yeah, activate the bridge, guys, and then make your way back down and across. On your way back down, watch out for them two traps. Do not get caught in them on the way down. I've done it a lot of times. So I forgot about them, ran straight into them and died. Do not do a opti. Remember about the traps on the way down. Right, let me have a look what's in this new patch on Lords of the Fallen. Yeah, daily patch. That is... It's good, but it's also bad. Yeah, so I always unlock the shortcut ladder, guys. Because if you die at any point, you've got a long way back to the top. Always activate that shortcut ladder, no matter what. Yeah, so to the top here, we're going to destroy the turrets and loot the chest. This is a New Game Plus chest only. It's got a blue guardian talisman inside it. Um, sorry, amulet. Yeah, you may as well destroy that turret. Yeah, loot the chest and quickly climb up the ladder. Apparently they've reduced New Game Plus difficulty in Lords of the Fallen. Yeah, apparently. Apparently it was a ma it was a very steep learning curve towards the end of New Game Plus, but they've reduced it quite a bit. Yeah, so when you come down here, guys, once you get to that plank, rather than cross it, make sure your health is full. You can drop off and you can actually survive it. If you want to survive it even more, um, equip the Black Cat's amulet before approaching that part. But yeah, just so you can get to the bottom quicker, just do not go in the middle of that bottom floor because you'll trigger the enemy to come through the wall. Yeah, come to his Trinity Sanctum, guys. Yep, and um, talk to King of Riddles. Very important here, choose human. Yeah, very important, choose human. Yeah, and the key for this Trinity Sanctum, you have to um, use that surprise box, remember? We did it earlier, and you'll find the chosen key inside. Yeah, he'll give you quartz and the alchemist cape, and you'll feel warm. And then keep talking to him, guys. This is a optional step, but you do get Radiant Ergo Crystal from him. Which is worth uh, 10,000. Yeah, so keep talking to him. Exhaust both his dialogue options. And if you pro if you progress Vanini's questline enough, you'll get us another dialogue option. This one here. To ask about the Vanini incident. That's it. Talk to him again. You'll get the Moon World Warrior toy. And then attack him. Choose attack. And then attack him, guys. You'll, like I say, you'll get Radiant Ergo Crystal. And then that's it. All we really wanted was the um, quartz, but I just continued the quest while we were there. Got a radiant crystal. Right, go to that item. It'll make that guy ambush through the wall. Then quickly move out of the way and one in the wall behind him and come down this elevator. Yeah, when we get to the next Stargazer, guys, if you want to do Vanini's quest, you need to warp back to hotel and talk with him. Give him a toy and you'll get a trophy about Vanini's quest. If you don't if you don't walk back and give him a toy before finishing the game, then you will not be able to. You'll lose the option. Yeah, so come down that elevator. I'm not gonna do it because I don't need to. We did our new game. Yeah, talk to subject 826. He'll give the gesture happy, exhaust his dialogue guys, and then later after beating Laxasia, he's gonna warp to Rosa Isabel Street. 
where he's going to sell a golden record. The final golden record. So yeah, just make sure you do not forget to exhaust his dialogue. Sub test subject 826 to cause him to warp to Rosa Isabel Street. After defeating Max Asia. Right, come back up. Uh, we're just going to run past this enemy and going to lift on the far wall. Yeah, let him walk onto the pressure plate and the trap will interrupt him and stagger him. And they can run past and use this elevator. Yeah, once you get up here guys, you either want to kill this guy or block his first few attacks and then run past him. Once he stops attacking, either run past him and look straight across his bridge or kill him guys. Yeah, then cross the bridge, take a right up here. And the black cat is going to be here. Now, as long as you gave him the gold coin fruit um, back before the gallery. Is it a gallery? Whoa. No, Baron Swamp, sorry. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Yeah, as long as you gave him gold coin fruit, you won't have to fight me. You'll get the option to give him a gold coin fruit. Yes, give him one. So you don't have to fight him. Yeah, give him another gold coin fruit. There you go. Then carry on, guys. Use this elevator and repair the next stargazer. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, just look through the Lord of Fall and the new patch notes. Yeah, just just loads of little tweaks they're doing. A lot of quality of life, little things they keep doing. Yeah, it's going to... Releasing a patch daily is crazy. Yeah, so rest of Stargazer. That's kind of embarrassing, you know. Yeah, you want to use a Flame Grindstone next. Um... Oh yeah, I'm just gonna. Am I gonna show you this? I think I'm just gonna show you this uh, grinding spot. Am I? Why did I equip a flame grindstone? The next enemy. Oh yeah, you'll see soon. Yes, yeah, so run straight past him, guys. Yeah, make sure you got flame grindstone. Yeah, don't bother killing him. Just grab the item and then run out because you see, I almost bloody died. Yeah, just grab the resplendent ergo fragment and then get out. Don't bother trying to kill anything. Grab the crystal. Get out. Come down here. He completely missed with that somehow. Yeah, go straight on. Follow the path around to the right. You'll go past the lock gate and then climb the ladder in the corner. Remember that lock gate, remember? We're going to go through it later to progress. Yeah, climb this ladder. Right, so we're going to attract the... Um, Jester Puppet first. Yeah, so run up here to attract him. And then run back to cause all the enemies to attack each other. Yeah, try not to die on the way past. Right, I'm going to come down here and kick down the shortcut ladder. Yeah, this guy just charged. Oh, he followed me all the way to shortcut ladder. I should have waited for him to do an attack. You know, for the enemies to start fighting each other. Yeah, so make sure you deactivate that. But if you drop down, the enemies shouldn't follow you down. The big carcass enemy might... If he's aggro to you, yeah, he can actually drop down. Well, the rest shouldn't. Yeah, but, so, basically wait for them to fight each other. So I'm going to climb back up now. They should be fighting. I don't know what's happened, but the um, Jester won't attack him for some reason. Or he's just been stun-locked. Yeah, I think they stun-locked him. But yeah, you want to kill all the enemies up here because, yeah, pretty much the carcasses are always going to win this battle. That's why I brought a flame grindstone. So yeah, you, you do want to kill all the enemies because there's a box we want to loot, a chest. Because in the chest is a vessel and that vessel leads to a quartz. That's why I want to take it. 
So yeah, kill this guy, just block and attack with your flame grindstone. Yeah, kill these few enemies along here. I'm surprised they weren't aggroed to me. And, you know, didn't get caught up in the fight with the puppets. There's some grinder videos which want you to run up here, get all these guys to fight each other, and then finish them off. But I don't like it. It's, it, can get, it can get too messy. I don't like to do it, really. I prefer them basic ones I showed you. Basic one, one enemy near the farmers. One, one enemy near the stargazer. Kill it, rest, kill it, rest. So much simple and consistent. Yeah, this enemy, I hate these enemies. Be very careful. It's probably one of the, the worst, smaller enemies in the game. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a basic enemy, but they they got such a different range of attacks. If you stagger him, he can attack you while he's doing the staggered animations. Be careful. Um, but yeah, use Flame Grindstone, kill it, and loot this chest for, a, for the uh, mechanical cryptic vessel, guys. Yeah, loot that chest for the mechanical cryptic vessel. Right, back to the middle path. Take it where the puppet came from. Head up the steps, and now we're going to pull a lever to um, unlock the gate. Yeah, unlock that gate. Once you've done so, I'm going to use the stopwatch and walk back to the stargazer. Yeah, the next tough enemy is that uh, one of them annoying baby puppets, giant babies. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use a electric grindstone. Yeah, electric grindstone here, and you also want to equip the um, uh, amulet, which increases def uh, damage. Sorry, against puppets. Yeah, that one there. So once you're ready. Run past here. Always keep to the left at the end, otherwise that enemy is going to land on you. Yeah, take a right in the corridor. Basically, just follow the path. In this chamber, go straight on. And once in this final chamber, take this path now, which has been opened. Now, the baby puppet, try to make sure a few enemies following you. Run in and climb a ladder. And then hopefully the enemies should take some of the damage down. I've had it before where some of these just normal enemies have stun locked the baby and killed it. If you're lucky, that will happen to you. But yeah, I let them do a bit of damage and then I use my electric grindstone and drop in. And try to finish him off. I don't know what's happening there. The enemy is sort of de-aggroed off the baby. First time I've seen that happen when they've been so close to each other. Yep, I hate this attack. Just make sure your HP is always full. I think he managed to grab me a few times. I know it's a baby. He just wants to be comforted and, you know, hugged. But it's bloody annoying. <laughs> yeah, annoying. Such an annoying enemy. There's always... When there's puppets involved, there's always a giant baby one. Right, almost got him. Oh, and he's grabbed me again, of course. That's it, mate. You grabbed me and lobbed me into the wall. What a way to finish a hug. Here, mate, have a hug. Also, I'm going to face plant you into the wall. We got him. Yeah, you get quartz. I think it exploded on my shield. Yeah, so you kill him, guys. You get quartz. Continue up this ladder afterwards. Right, let's make our way back to the next... Uh, shortcut and then up to the next stargazer. I think the next stargazer is just before Laxatia. Right, ignore the butterfly. Pretty much nothing to collect now going forward. In this part anyway. Right, quickly swim past here and up the ladder. Make sure your health is full before you do so. Sprint straight across here and you should avoid this enemy which drops in. Yep, in here. Now, once you get to the fork, take the middle path. Yeah, take the middle path in the fork. Activate the shortcut ladder on the right. That'll take you back down to the stargazer. And if you're careful and quick, 
you can grab this Radiant Ergo Crystal. Be very quick because the guy will see you above and he'll start shooting and if he hits you while you're on the beam, he will knock you off. So what I normally do is walk to Crystal and quickly roll back. Then come up here because the guy's really spotted you, he'll be making his way down to you. So be ready to block. If he's not spotted you, he'll have his back turned and you can just knock him off or run past him. Now be very careful here, I think I dropped down. Um, you normally want to run straight across the beams. Across here. Yeah, but I dropped down. Okay, never mind. But the plan was, yeah, be very careful guys if you do drop down. You might get stun stunned by gunfire. Yeah, the plan was to um, not fall down and make way to the top and drop down. Drop down near here pretty much. Yeah, this guy, block his attack, try to make sure you're not too close to the edge. Yeah, make sure you're not too close to the edge. And then drop off. And once you get past him. Yeah, because you do not want to block that guy's attacks and get knocked off. And carefully make a way across this trap path. Carefully. Yeah, block against the guy at the end. Kill him. Loot the chest for quartz and then um, deactivate the traps by pulling the lever. Or, or pull the lever first if you want it to be deactivated while you are um, taking the quartz from the chest. Yeah, don't forget to pull that. Don't run along there thinking you pulled the lever but you haven't. And then they just come down on you. Right, once you've done so, back across. Up the ladder and then continue across this path. Now stay away from the brick wall where the item is because the enemy is going to burst through there. Just run around to the ladder, climb to the top. Then he shouldn't get a chance to attack you because he didn't spawn in until you're pretty much at the ladder. Yeah, then climb the second ladder. Head through here and use the starga um, Stargazer. Use the elevator, guys, and it'll take you to the next Stargazer just before the Lax Asia fight. Yeah, I think I think I crack straight on the fight. I don't think we go back to the hotel. Yeah, it's going to level up advanced to 30. That'll cost you um, 32,000 and 33 ergo, to be precise, if you're the same level as me. What level am I? I have no idea. I don't think I paid much attention to what actual level I am. I think I finished the game on like level 128 or something like that. But yeah, Stargazer guys, like I say, advanced 30, it'll cost you 32,000. Um, you want the Perfection Grindstone on Fliss. Yeah, Perfection Grindstone. Um, and you want acid abrasives equipped. Because Laxatia is a human enemy. So you also want the amulets. Um, which increases damage against humans as well. So yeah. Perfection grindstone. And you're going to save that for the second stage. So first stage. We're going to use the acid abrasive. Um, which is going to block the Aegis shield. And just keep attacking through it. Make sure you always watch your legion. And your stamina of course. And um. Yep, heal up when you need to and refill your legion when you need to. If you need to reapply the acid, then do so. And then second stage, we're going to use Perfection Grindstone and Throwables. And when you've used both your Grindstones, Perfections, then you're just going to have to block normally. Um, but yeah, watch out for your attacks. Yeah, I think she does slash damage. Um, she does electric damage, of course. The immunity, um, the immunity amulet will make it so... It will not cause a debuff on you. So you will not get debuffed with electric blitz. Um, but you will still be taking electric damage. So you want to equip your defense parts which favor electrical damage. Yeah, like I say, you won't get the debuff, but you will still be taking electrical damage. It will just decrease it a little bit. Right, it's on the spectre. And let's go.
Yeah, then after this, it's the final, final stretch, guys, and then we're at the end. Yeah, final stretch, almost there. What we've got, last last 30 minutes. All right, so open the double doors and say hello to the Lightning Princess. Right, I'm just gonna skip that. Yeah, so acid abrasive. And then I'm gonna switch over to my Legion magazine so it's ready in case I need it. Yeah, so with the consumable effect duration one and two, which I've got purchased in the P organ, that abrasive will last for one minute, guys. Yeah, one minute. So I'm sure you can kill him in one minute. Well, the first stage, anyhow. So yeah, just block and attack. After you fear attacks, you'll likely break a shield on his back. There you go. Yeah, but he dies so quick in phase one. Yeah, be very, very careful. They have some nasty range attacks as well. And a lot of their attacks, they're delayed. Like, they'll be like a slash, and then a delayed attack afterwards from the lightning. Right, so as soon as the second stage begins, use the Perfection Grindstone. Now, if you're unlucky, she might be shooting the Spectre. But most of the time, she'll shoot you, and you'll deflect all this back at her, do quite a bit of damage, and then keep blocking, because she's going to do a massive lunge attack. Right, and then start lobbing your throw balls. Watch your Perfection Grindstone. Once it wears off, use your second one. Yeah, be very careful here. Yep, always keep your HP full. I'm just waiting for a moment. There we go. I just wanted to be confident you weren't going to attack me. Right, back to your throwables. Yep, keep your Spectre healed up. Because he'll take some of the aggro. Comes in mega useful. Why am I not using throwables? Okay, whatever. Looks like I've just res uh, resorted to um, attacking normally. Yeah, but you probably want to use throwables on it, guys. Like I say, it'll make it much better. And if you do stagger her, get out of the way. When you stagger her, watch what she does. She does one attack, two attacks, and then a massive lightning burst. There you go. She'll do three attacks when you stagger her. Two swipes, two slashes basically, and a lightning burst. Yeah, so get away when you stagger her and wait for the prompt to appear for the fatal attack. And then move in, and then fatal attack her. Yeah, plunge your tight sword inside her. Yeah, punch your sort of throbbing axe inside her. That should finish her off. Right, rest at the Stargazer. And then head in here, guys, for a cutscene with Sophia. So, critical choice imminent coming up. And this can lead to what ending you get. Yeah, there's a bit of humanity involved. But this ending we're going to pick, it always takes you to the same two endings. Always. It's only the other one, which depends a little bit on humanity. This one. So, talk to Sophia. Yep, get through her dialogue and you want to choose to let her live. This is very, very important, guys. So I cannot emphasize how important it is. Let her live. Yeah, in New Game, we gave a piece. But in this one, in New Game Plus, we are going to let her live. You'll feel warm. You'll get a gesture. And that's it. She'll be there because we let her live. She's going to stay there sitting now for the rest of her life. Yeah, good luck going for the toilet. Yep, then we're going to come up here, run past all these enemies you want to stick left to begin with to avoid the enemy on the right, which tries to ambush you with a, a little poke. And then the guy that comes to the wall on the left, stick to the right to avoid his poke. And then come in here, guys, and rest the Stargazer. Yeah, so once you get here, guys, we are going to... Um, Yeah, you want to switch your grindstone back to acid. Yeah, so back to acid. Um, you want to level up capacity to 35. That's going to cost 8,096. Yeah, so capacity to 35. And with capacity of 35, you can pretty much... I mean, if you've been picking up all the plus one armor, it's going to be different. But all the sort of new game armors, you should be able to equip all the best, the best one of each category now. In, well, the one with the most weight on each category uh, with our build and still be on normal weight. Yeah, about capacity 36. 
Pretty much. I mean, you still need the Karis Amulet plus one. But yeah. Yeah, what, what I was saying earlier, guys, about Platinum in 10... Yeah, I think I could Platinum this in under 10 hours. Um, I'd need to change my new game a little bit. I wouldn't be collecting nowhere near as much. I wouldn't be doing all the farming. Yeah, but I'm quite confident I could Platinum this in 10 hours with a bit of practice. But will I be doing so? No, I won't. I'm not doing that. Right, so... um. Yeah, got our amulets equipped. There's going to be an enemy coming up, guys, which does disruption damage. So equip your defense parts based around disruption, as you saw me just doing. Now you want to kill all these enemies at the start here, because I want to loot the chest. Yeah, there's a chest with quartz about about five enemies ahead. There's a chest with quartz, and um, if you don't kill these, mostly it's going to follow you. And there's a one of them annoying disruption enemies there, and um, you don't want to be fighting too many at once. So around that corner in that alcove, you've got a resplendent ergo crystal. Cut two enemies beforehand and then kill these two. Just watch out for fame for our enemy. He'll kill you mega quick. Be careful. Just attack this enemy once or twice and then move away so you're not in the flames. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. He'll always get to you first. So yeah, just do it that way. And then kill this guy. Right, with them four enemies dead, you can kill his fifth enemy by herself. You can loot the chest without killing him. I think I managed to do so in New Game. But it's just not worth it, to be honest. Yeah, kill this enemy next. We want that chest. Yeah, watch out for Fury attack. Here it comes. And if she starts to scream in place, move out of the way. Yeah, do not get caught in a combo because you'll almost die. Yeah, oh, I was quite lucky there. If she's going to scream. Yeah, if she screams, move away or... I was lucky there. Her stagger window was active, so I just staggered her. Fatal attack. I think she's a human. I think all these enemies we're passing at the moment are humans. I think normally, if they've got some sort of device attached to them, you know, normally means they're human most of the time. You know, like this woman, she's got the mask on her head, probably feeding her ergo or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think she's a human. Yeah, loot this chest for quartz. Yeah, you see me taking a bit of disruption build up already. Yeah, take the quartz, heal up. Right, and now we can sprint to the next stargazer. Well, not to the next one, but yeah. Pass, pass all the next sort of enemies. Yeah, so sprint past all of these. As long as you don't slow down, you should be okay. Yeah, and up this ladder beyond this guy. Yeah, up this ladder. Now, this is optional, but there'll be a shortcut elevator coming up soon. Um, there's a full moonstone beside it, and the elevator leads you down to the stargazer. And there's a short, uh, shortcut gate you can unlock. Um, you don't have to take it, it's just up to you. I'm, I'm going to leave it, but I'm just letting you know about it. It's optional. Um, I'll tell you in a second. Yeah, so make your way across here first. Carefully, carefully maneuver across these platforms. Carefully. Um, if the enemy's going to start shooting, just block with your back to the wall. Remember, because you do not want to block near the ledge and the the actual impact of the gunfire to knock you off. I mean, I should not have used my shield then. That's very, very careful. And, and yeah, don't ask me. I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> he's dropped. I remember, I remember seeing that. I was like, what the hell? He just like, he just like, the thing is, he just casually drops off as well. You know, it just casually drops off like he meant to do it. Yeah, so if you go right there, there's a full moonstone and an elevator. Take the elevator down, there'd be a shortcut gate, um, which would take you back to Stargazer. Just a shortcut. And um, that shortcut's mainly needed if you're fighting Red Fox here. But we're going to give her a gold coin fruit, because I don't want to fight her. Yeah, so give her a gold coin fruit. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I like to, well, that's what I like to think anyway. So yeah. Gold coin fruit. Give that to her. Um, then come to her, guys, and unlock Japato's cell. And then talk to him. Now, critical choice coming up. And the option you want to choose is yes. Yeah, very firm yes. Simon has gone. I don't know. I speak. 
Was he a trustworthy father? Of course you were, Japato. Yeah. Tell him yes, a silly bugger. He's doubting his um, paren parental skills at the moment. Don't worry. You are a good daddy. Yeah, you feel warm. Right, unlock the door with the key that he gives you. I still can't believe that Lords of Fallen's got an update every day since release. That's bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Yeah, so climb a ladder, guys. Activate a stargazer. Right, we're just going to sprint up. We're not going to collect anything now. And um, we're going to unlock this shortcut ladder. And um, you want to make sure you've got disruption. Uh, yeah, the dis disruption um, defense parts equipped because you got this guy and we've got an elite enemy coming up who we're going to be fighting and he will be doing disruption damage. Yeah, so sprint past all of these. That first enemy probably did notice I blocked her first combo um, because otherwise every time I try to run past that first enemy, she always catches me from behind. So yeah, I just block her, her first combo. Then when she's uh, recovering, run past her. You can sprint past the rest. Unlock this shortcut ladder. Yep, unlock it guys. Sprint past. Did you feel that? Right, carrying up here. The guys, they'll stop following you eventually. Yeah, now before we go all the way up the steps, get ready to um, use the acid grindstone. Fully repair your weapon. Re uh, refill your health and you probably want to um, use the um, special attribute and port as well. Yeah, or yeah, sorry, special resistance ampule. You probably want to use that and equip the special purification ample. And once you buffed up, guys, ready? Yeah, I died to him. I am not afraid to admit that. Yeah, come up to him, you block and start attacking. The problem was, for some reason, he he lobbed a cloud of disruption at me, and I just stood in it for some reason. I just stood there <laughs> with my shield out attacking. I didn't even realise until I died. I was like, what? Okay. Yeah, so watch out for his clouds. Do not stand in them. Yeah, he might grab you. <laughs> so if you do, if you cannot dodge his attacks because you're just really bad like me, just make sure your health is always full. Yeah, always keep your health full in case he grabs you. Yep, that cloud, you're not standing it. That's what I stood in before, I didn't even realise. What's he doing? Lobbing them everywhere. It's pretty cloudy around here. Fogged up my antennas. My optics have been fogged up. There we go, got him. He'll drop a quartz. Nice. Right, let's make our way to the final boss. We are almost there, guys. The platinum is within reach. Can you see that platinum shining? Can you see it beyond the horizon? I can. Yeah, grab this uh, resplendent ergo crystal. Come along here. Now, if you're quick, you want to run past this guy. Run into him and block. You should be able to block his attacks and then get past before the other guy catches up. Continue in here in this sort of um, like church-like room. Go through here, guys, and pick up the ergo crystal of the internal. That's the second one. Ergo, Crystal of the Eternal. If you remember, that gives you 25,000 Ergo. Come near and activate that Stargazer, guys. Well, there's one more left. Second to last. Activate that, and then let's get ready for the big boss. Simon Manus. I died to him three times here, um, but I did not die to Nameless Puppet, strangely enough. Okay, so we are ready. Yeah, so Summon your Spectre. So, for him, you want your Acid Abrasive. You want to have the special purification ample equipped ready. Because remember the second stage he can do disruption damage. You don't need your um, immunity amulet. You do not need it. Because he does disruption anyway. Um, so you might want to change that up for... I don't know. You could probably change it up for the amulet. Which increases your resistance against disruption I guess. Or um, perhaps a strength amulet to increase your motivity. Or, re or rechargeable. Whatever you decide to put in that fourth slot. But it is a human... So you want the amulet which increases defense against human. Or even the iron wall amulet, guys, to increase your physical defense. Yep, and I think they do strike damage. So you want defense against strike. And then you're pretty much golden, ready to go. I am going to be pretty much be using all my throwballs in the second stage. 
in the second stage I use I use one acid in the first stage a bra uh, the grindstone then the second stage I use the second grindstone and I attack him until the grindstone wears off once it wears off then I move away and start using my throw balls so yeah this guy use the acid grindstone just block and attack guys block and attack remember he's got a massive Yeah, he's got a massive... Sorry, I got an email about some uh, swimming lessons for the kids. Yeah, he's got a massive range on his um, attack. So just make sure you... Even if you're not close to him, block. Uh, what? Yeah, watch out for the attacks. Oh, it's just half-term swimming. Yeah, he goes down really quick, this guy. Uh, if you ever just that attack, don't stand inside it like I was. I just knew he was going to be dead any time now. Uh, before he got a chance to finish the attack. So yeah, he... Stamps his um, weapon into the ground and starts charging like a field around it. Get out of the way, it's going to be a big blast. Unless you're confident you're going to kill him before he's got a chance to finish the attack like I did. Yeah, so this guy, use your sacked, um, sacked, your second acid. I combined second and acid into one word then, it said sacked. Yeah, combine your second, use your second acid of uh, grindstone, sorry. And now attack him until it wears off. Yeah, so just keep attacking him with your weapon until the acid grindstone wears off. That should pretty much take him down to about half HP. Hopefully you can inflict acid during that time. Yeah, watch out for any disruption attacks. When the massive hand comes down, get out of the way, because it'll probably kill you. Right, yeah, always be ready to block. Yeah, the acid grindstone is worn off. So now, yeah, unfortunately I didn't get a chance to inflict acid in time. Yeah, now I'm going to switch to my throwables. Yeah, I guess it, it don't really matter what you use first. Um, I'm going to use my acid grindstone first. Uh, sorry, throwables. Because it's weaker to acid. Then whilst he's inflicted with the acid, I'm going to use my saw blades and my sharp pipes. Remember, you've got your cluster grenades as well. And once the acid wears off, you can switch to your thermites or your throwing cells. Any of your main throwables which are remaining. Love all of them. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go with Thermites next. Try to make sure they hit. And once you land all of them, that should hopefully land the element. And he's dead anyway. I had quite a lot of throwables left and killed him. So, yeah, that's how you want to kill him, guys. So, you've got a critical choice here. Very important. Now, no matter what option you picked with Sophia after laxation, whether you let her live or gave her peace, this will always be the same option. I liberated her from Arch Abbey. So always choose that same option. I liberated her from Arch Abbey. I'm not sure why, but it don't, like I say, don't matter what you pick for Sophia. I'm sure I remember that that option will always be the one which will give you humanity. You feel warm. So that's always a humanity option. Right, he'll dispel and um, disintegrate. Now he's dead. You'll get Fallen Ones, Ergo, and the Arm of God. Right, and then use the um, middle lift and go down to the room at the bottom where we're going to fight the name as Puppet. So one more boss, guys, and then the platinum is pretty much ours. I know, I know, I know, I know. A lot of you are really worried now. It's not, honestly, it's a similar strategy to my new game. And if you didn't find, if you had, if you had a lot of success with that strategy, then this one shouldn't be too bad for you. Yes, you might die a few times, but I'm, I'm fairly confident it's not going to take too many retries, if any. Right, so yeah, name is Puppets. He's a puppet, so we want the amulet, which increases defense against puppets. Um, you might want to, your fourth amulet, you either want the iron wall or perhaps the strength plus one to increase your motivity. He does slash damage, so you want to lob loads of slash on. Yeah, anything which um, gives you defense against slash. You want Legion magazines, of course. You don't need your friendship wish stones no more because um, you don't got a spectre. You want to have electric abrasives equipped because you're going to be putting a perfection grindstone on. Yeah, you want electric abrasives. You want all your throwables. You want full stock of all your throwables. Yeah, so electric abrasive and the perfection of grindstone. Yeah, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to die the first time and that way I can back up my save and then jump straight into the boss fight. 
Yeah, I advise backing up with safe on this one. Not because you need to for an ending or anything. I mean, we are going to get an ending here, so you want to make sure you don't pick the wrong choice. Yeah, level up 2 and vitality 35, guys. That costs 80,116. I guess you can use a, a normal wish stone if you want, like recovery. I mean, I can just use that myself, but I find both, most of the um, wish stones which affect yourself, you know, like heal you up or heal your legion, they're not very good, so I don't even bother. Yeah, so you want all your throwables, so they all want to be fully stocked. Even cluster grenades, you're going to be using them. Yeah, perfection grindstone. Like I say, we're going to go and talk to Japato. We're going to refuse because we need to kill Nameless Puppet now. Because we let Sophia live, when we kill a Nameless Puppet, we're going to get the remaining ending. Right, so refuse, guys. Very, very important. Refuse. Even if you refuse, by the way, you can still give your heart. What will happen? You'll refuse. The name is probably the fight will begin. If you die, you can actually interact with the Stargazer. And there'll be an option at the bottom saying give your heart. We actually did it that way in the new game. So, yeah. But to get the other ending, we can't actually get it now because you'd have to have a, a backup um, before making the choice of Sophia. We'd have to give her peace. And then when we kill the name's puppet, that'll give us the other ending. Before then, we've got another humanity, which we have. Um, but we're trying to get the other one, which we haven't got. So yeah, I'm just going to die to the puppets. I'm going to grab my Ergo. And now, if you haven't done so already, guys, back up your safe, like I say. Because if you keep dying to this boss, that way you will not have to recover um, all your consumables or throwables. We've already used them. Okay, so um, straight into the fight. I've already explained the setup. So we're going to be using the shield and blocking. For the first stage, we're going to use the electric abrasive. Come in, block, and just keep attacking behind our shield. Remember, if you see a fury attack come in, use absolute defense. That's what you're saving, saving your fable slots for. Um, watch your stamina and watch your legion. If your stamina is getting low, rather than attack between his attacks, instead drop your guard and so your stamina regains quicker. Another amulet which can be useful, guys, is a stamina regeneration amulet. Yeah, you might want to have that one equipped, you know, in your fourth slot. Yeah, one which increases stamina regen. That can actually help quite a bit here. Okay, so the second stage. Yeah, so here, we're going to be blocking. Same as the first stage, but now we're actually going to be blocking and lobbing throwables. So first of all, you use your Perfection Grindstone. Lob one or two throwables straight from to attack. And now you're going to be lobbing your throwables between his attacks. So when he's finished the combo, lob some throwables. Block the next combo. And once you've used all your throwing cells, because you'll be using them first... Then while electric is, um, once he's debuffed with electric, then you're going to use your sort of melee, your uh, sort of your strength type damage throwables. Yeah, once your first perfection grindstone wears it off, then use your second one. And if you get a failure to attack, you might want to just repair your weapon, fully restore your health, so you do more damage. And then go up to a failed attack. And then once electric wears off, switch over to another main throwable. And then once you've flicked in with that, finish off with your motivity throwables. Yep, I was, bit, I was a bit worried there. I thought I was dead. Always keep your health full, guys. You never know what attack's going to get you. Yes, yeah, keep your shield out. Always lob him. Don't get cocky. I mean, he's only got a tiny bit of health left. But if I got cocky then... And just started lobbing it, thinking he's dead. I would have probably got killed. Yeah, just play it safe. And I've had one attack. I've only had it happen once, but um, I fatal did a fatal attack once, and um, he like he like detonated. Um, so if you ever do a fatal attack, perhaps don't go too close to him afterwards, because he might sort of explode. Like I say, it's only happened to me once. It might only happen in this first stage. I can't quite recall, but just be careful of that. And that's it. We've beat him, guys. So Platinum is basically ours. You're going to get a final ending trophy. Um, free from the puppet string. And at the end of the credits, just make sure you do not go into New Game, pl uh, New Game Plus Plus. Yeah, because what we actually need to do now... I mean, we've got all the records now. But we just want to finish playing the records... And we just want to go and purchase the final boss weapons 
and then Platinum is ours. That's all we've got to do now. It looks like I, I go to Clap Street as well to him get a quartz. Yeah, okay, why not? Yeah, I think there's still one more quartz I need, and then I've got all 20. I think it's all 28. I think so. Yeah, so if you do want to go to New Game Plus Plus, guys, you've got all the quartz you need. So you can use, you can easily uh, respec if you want, or with the few remaining, which we haven't used. I think I've probably got like three, uh, three to six that I haven't used. You could just go straight into New Game Plus Plus, um, go straight to P Organ Upgrade at the end of the train, and buys them a nice new upgrades. Yeah, you've got like say, oh yeah, you get that ending, guys, free from a puppet string. So that's the third and final ending which we need. That's for letting Sophia live and defeating a nameless puppet. Right off P is for giving Sophia peace and beating the nameless puppet while having enough humanity. And the other ending, forget the name, is for giving your heart to Jipato. Yeah, so once you get to the screen, guys, press cancel. Press circle. Do not press X, otherwise you're going to New Game Plus. Plus, Press cancel. That's spawn you back in at Hotel Krat. So I can say, just one one or two things you're going to do. Oh, we've got to go to um, Rose Isabel Street and uh, buy the final record from um, Subject 826. Right, so first of all, we're going to come over to Vanini, and we're going to decipher the cryptic vessel, and we're going to hand over the mechanical cryptic vessel. Like I say, this is just for a quartz. You don't have to do this. This is just for me wanting to get all the quartz. So yeah, hand over the mechanical cryptic vessel, guys. I don't do them other two, the old and the jeweled, because they don't if they don't need any quartz. I think it's just like, I think one needs to ring we've already got. Uh, I think you get life ring on one of them. We've already got it. And um, the other one needs to uh, outfit, does it? And a legion caliber, perhaps. Yeah, so you can see, I've got the Moon World Warrior toy, but I can't give it to him. Because like I said earlier, you have to... When you first get it, I think you have to take it back to him before completing the game. Otherwise, you just don't get the option. The the option just vanishes, because I guess the dialogue from com completing the game sort of overwrites it in a way. So yeah, you have to give him the Moon World Warrior toy before completing the game. So yeah, come to Hotel Stargazer, but we did that trophy in New Game Plus. Uh, sorry, New Game. Uh, that's why I didn't really bother doing it here. I just went through the motions of, um, you know, I'll let you, and I'll let you know to in, in order to get the quartz from him and the Radiant Ergo Crystal while we were there, because it's an extra 10,000. So yeah, warp to um, Rosa Isabel Street entrance. Once you spawn in, drop down. Head straight head, head to the burning um, wreckage ahead, burning furniture. Take a left in the shortcut gate we unlocked earlier. If you didn't unlock this, you just have to take a long way around. Yep, and then once you come around there, take the steps straight ahead of you. This should take you above the street where the um, mad clown puppet was and the bowl came rolling, rolling down. Yeah, subject 826. He should be waiting here for you. Remember anyway from New Game when we bought the weapon from him. Yeah, all you want to buy from him, guys, is the golden record. You can buy the um, sawtooth wheel and the saw blades and the sharp pipes if you want. Um, no need, I think I just bought them for the sake of it. Yep, that's it. Golden record, guys. Fascination. Buy that one. And if you want, you can buy Disruption Cartridge plus one while you are here. Right, so, but the thing we did need, the most important thing to buy from him, was a golden record. Fascination. Right, and once you've done so, guys, take out your um, stopwatch and walk back to the hotel. Uh, sorry, not to the hotel, to the recent Stargazer. And now we're going to walk to the Collapse Street. Just do that final um, side quest and get a quartz. Yep, so you should have all those records, guys. 16 records all together. If you're missing one, then you've missed a step somewhere. But if you have, if you go in the text guide, you can just Google it and it'll tell you... Um, not Google, well, it kind of is Google, it's Google Documents, but you go in my Google Documents text guide, click on the top right options, click on find and replace, and then type in the name of the record you're missing. Um, if you don't find it on the new game text guide, then go into my new game plus text guide and type it in on there. All the golden records will be on my new game plus text guide and um, the proposal flower wolf part one. That will be on new game plus as well. But all the rest 
will be on the new game text guide. Yep, so Warp to Crap Street. We're gonna play all them records in the second guys once back at the hotel and that'll pop the trophy. You don't have to listen to them all, don't worry, you're not gonna have to stand there for three minutes per record. You just quickly scan through them all and that'll pop the trophy. So back at Collapse Street, come around here, climb the shortcut ladder. Sprint around that guy over here drop down this ledge carefully so you don't drop down too far drop on this ledge where that chest was drop off near the chest go through this archway come through and go up the steps to the back it will lead you to that wandering merchant no it's not the MD BMT this is just the um, WM yeah torture him with the froze, frozen feast in your arm and tell him show him the weapon and get quartz guys Yep, so equip the Frozen Feast. I was going to equip my main weapon back. Right, and once you've got the quads, we're going to walk back to the hotel. That's it, we are done. Let's go and pop the Platinum. I'm right at the very bottom of the text guide. I can't scroll down no more. We are there. So we're going to go over to the gramophone. You can play any remaining records. If you're unsure exactly what ones you've played, I mean, they should be in the, they should still be in the sort of, in the pocket, the pouch. Um, but if not, you can just start playing one and then leave the gramophone um, interface and then just press the, um, I think it's the R1 button or something to scan through them all quickly. Yeah, it's so a gramophone, check record, just start playing one. I'll start with that one, quick, I'll tick. Right, and then just leave, leave the menu. Yeah, leave the menu and then you can just press options. You can see on the left there and then what is it, R1 to go into next. And just quickly scan through them all quickly like so. And once you've got through all of them, ding, ding, ding. There we go, Golden Melody. Collect all of the records, collect and play, sorry. Yeah, you pretty much have to do New Game Plus just for that one. Oh, right, come oh, talk to hey, Explorer Jerry. Hugo. It's me. You, this whole... I will also... oh, right. I don't think I've seen him with Alidora's hat on before. Okay, so talk for him, we're gonna craft the final weapon, guys. Two dragon swords. Um. Ouroboros Eye. Yeah, two Dragon Sword, Ouroboros Eye. The Proof of Humanity. Why is the weapon called Proof of Humanity? Seems like it should be a name for um, a book, don't it? Something, one of the collectibles. But yeah, two Dragon Swords, Ouroboros Eye, and Proof of Humanity. And um, I'm going to also craft the Awakened God's Amulet. Um, because I crafted the Noblest Oblige in New Game. So with the Fallen Ones Ergo, we're going to craft the Awakened God's Amulet. Just so we basically, we basically then got all the boss weapons and all the boss amulets. Right, sorry, I had to just edit a bit there. So I stuck on that menu for about two minutes for some reason. Yeah, so there it is, guys. Once you crafted the final weapon, you'll get that trophy, Special Weapon Collector. And finally, the Platinum Lies of P. And there it is guys, all the trophies in Lies of P. Yeah, so what I would advise, just one more thing before we leave guys. Um, so in case they release any DLC, I'd advise leaving the save here at the in end of New Game Plus or wherever it may be. Um, because if they release DLC, it might only be, you know, with DLC trophies, it might only be accessible end game. So, but this way you can just load in your load your save file back up and then DLC releases and you want to you know play it and get all the trophies. You can just load this back in and then do it. If there is DLC, yes, I'll probably likely do a guide on this. I did buy this digitally, so I'm sort of the game. Sometimes when I buy them physically, I I you know sell the game afterwards. Um, but this one, yeah, I bought it digitally. Um but yes guys, that is it. And I hope you've enjoyed the whole series. Yeah, this new game plus one has been quite long. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed that I've tagged along with you. I've just tried to, you know, keep you entertained in a way, I guess. But yeah, another Platinum in the bag, guys. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully Metal Gear, well, it's going to be Outlast 2 and uh, Metal Gear Solid, hopefully. All them new games. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. It's been fun playing with you and taking you through it. And I'll see you on the next one.